Sib. I don't know what happened to Sib. Is that muted? Uh, I can hear you now. Okay. Yay! Zoom is totally disappeared from my screen. So, oh. no, I, as a monk, I got slowful, and then I took infernal constitution. So. One more constitution point and resistance to cold and poison and advantage on saving foes against poison. So good luck, DM. <laughs> All right. You say these things. <laughs> you say these things. I know. <laughs> We're gonna need that on t shirts and sweatshirts in our merch store. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 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 um all right, and that takes us to Viani. Well, Viani is going to start discovering some powers about herself. She didn't get an ability score increase because she was a first, uh, she took a class in Bard. So she's actually um, become finally in her sub, she's finally realized her subclass. She will now be able to engage in psychic whispers, establishing a telepathic mm -hmm. communication between herself and others. She's also going to be getting Psy Bolstered Knack, which means I can use my Psy psionic energy die and add it to like a proficiency check when i want and of course psychic blades which get to um manifest invisible sort of shimmering blades of psychic energy that i'm currently setting up right now and they um don't leave apparently like the blade vanishes immediately after it hits so very also good for Excitement. stealthy <laughs> stealthy infiltrations um, yes, uh, I'm very excited. Oh, and she can do, uh, after I do my attack with the blade, I can make a melee or ranged uh, attack with a second blade, psychic blade, as a bonus action on the same turn. Provided mm -hmm. my hand is free to in clear, you know, to throw it. So yes, expect, um, woof, 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 <laughs> from Vianney going forward. Turning into a dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that takes us to Wilkes. I took the resilient feat, and um, I'm now proficient in dexterity saving throws. Nice. Very good. And I'm also, I also went up one in my AC and uh, my initiative, because I now have a 16 in dex. Cool. Um, and then I think after that we need... Uh, the ringleader. Oh, and I got a oh, oh and I got a lot more health. <laughs> cool. Um, all right, that's so that's ringleader, and then yeah, ringleader's next. Right. Uh, so I had a decidedly um stupid idea to become a telepath, but then I accidentally clicked telekinetic. Thing and now I am a telepath. I can telekinine things. I increase my wisdom by one because I'm a silly little boy, uh, and I increased my health. I also decided that the best idea in the world would be to um, start to actually be a you be a worthwhile druid, and as a result, um, we basically nerfed Goodberry. And uh, that is, that, that's where I'm at right now. Okay. That's everyone, so I'll pass yeah. it on to the dungeon mistress. 
Absolutely. I do think that we should um, quickly review what happened last time, and that is usually the job of uh, our resident micro or wolks. I like that I'm the resident micro. That implies that, mm. that my screen name is actually a title of some description. <laughs> it is. Um, so last time, um, on the way through the desert, the party had, had come to a stop at a crashed airship that later turned out to be called, um, what was it? The Reason Anaconda. <laughs> Um, as we as they learned after going into it and finding a notebook, uh, well, a logbook, a captain's logbook. But before that, um, they had to do a bit of uh, first sneaking around and then some dubious social interactions with a pair of humans, which um, do, through... Uh, uh, Kaleo and Volks' uh, good senses of smell turned out to be were jackals. Um, we had a we had a we had a bit of a fight with them, and then it turned out that they were their leader was a giant ass six eight something very tall lady, very tall lady who for some reason Elden decided to fall in love with. Okay, it's not, not for lust. some reason. Lust. Yeah, it's not for some. It's because she's a eight foot tall lady. It's not like big a mystery. Mommy. She's just big mommy lady. Big mommy, step mm. on me. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Are you are you are you telling <laughs> telling what happened last time, or am I telling what happened last time? Thank you. Maybe I, I should. Yeah, yeah, maybe I need to be the resident micro. No, you you're. you're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we actually tried to get away, but uh, uh, kind of get away after it turned out we couldn't really. It was really hard damaging them. Um, but then they put <laughs> Marble to sleep and carried her up, and that's how we met the big lady. And then Elden was like, oh. Give me eight hours and I'll come back and fuck you or something. Um, so we went and had a rest. And then we went back up. And then Volks, Volks decided that it would be the best idea to just throw a, um, a big rock at the big at the giant lady. So we had another battle, which ended with Volks killing someone with a coin. Uh, then Elden got charmed. And started attacking us until Marble counter jammed him and <laughs> instead of the lady. And then the lady fucked off saying she had, that she would see him again. So presumably we'll have to fight her again. Also, we figured out that like Miriam, I can't remember what the thing she's called. It starts with an L. We found out through uh, Marble's aunt, who, what kind, what kind of creature she Some actually Some sort of um, like half lion thing. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. What I can't remember what the exact name was. It's something with an L. Um, a llama. Llama. Yeah. yeah. Ah, it's a llama. Llama. Yeah. 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 She's a giant llama. Sure. <laughs> I, I suddenly realized how why Elden was so infatuated. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, also, I I forgot to say this last time. I would have picked up back up the raw uh, agent nuggets that I threw at her. All right, yeah, that's fine. You can do that. Yeah. All right. So now, as we remember, the ringleader, he wasn't feeling well. Probably adjusting his body to the. Uh, incredible heat of the desert. So, and he didn't want to make, uh, put you guys at risk by going when he was at less than his best. So now as dawn arises, he stares 
worried about all of you feeling a lot better all of a sudden, actually, but concerned. And finally, as he watches in fear and trepidation, he sees the whole group looking really tough all of a sudden. You know, they're starting to come together and you can just see it in the way that they move across the desert, all a little bit more sure of themselves. Wolk's looking a little bit more nimble. Elton looking a little bit more, he's holding his head a little more slyly. Everyone just a little bit more on point as they come forward. And he also notices that there is a new person among there, a very tired and gaunt looking human man, sort of limping along, looking rather frightened. Um, and as you finally come back tired um, to greet the ringleader, What do you do? Oh my god, guys, I was so worried about you. God. It's okay, boss, we're back. Kind of a, had a bit of an adventure, but got some good stuff. Got some stuff we can sell, and we got saved somebody. Uh-huh. Eldon. And also more water and food. Yep, more so... Says, as he... As he, um, as he as he has has two of the wear jackals wear jackals on in his arms. Yes, we're also hauling our stash and our glowing blue balls. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. We 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 got a new friend and we got big blue balls, <laughs> especially little Elden. I uh, I I kind of like look at the blue balls. At you, as, as you guys are no doubt smirking, and th it just doesn't, it doesn't land. And I kind of go, I kind of look to the, look to the where, where jackals, and I go, hello, I'm the ringleader, who are you? The where jackals are dead. I'm carrying two corpses. Who's the gaunt, scared one? person? Oh, yeah. The, yeah. the 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 per person we found, I don't think he's a jack. I think he's just a human. Um, Hello, my name's. I am the ringleader. How are you? He looks at at you in horror and shakes his head. No. He's got some trust issues. Walking. Maybe he needs a you know a little bit of a rest and some quiet time just to adjust. Okay. Uh, we have a bit of time. I kind of like uh, create a pseudopod to look at my watch, but I don't have a watch, so I'm just looking at a pseudopod. And I kind of go, "You can rest now if you want. Come on. Would you like some food?" He. He's looking around. Um, roll persuasion. I don't. I don't know what is. I don't know. Don't. Yeah, he's looking at um, some of the other human people and. You could tell that he's a little confused by what he's observing right now. Okay, just follow me. Okay, come with me. And uh, I, uh, I put out a pseudopod and a kind of like you know, you if 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 they want if this if this individual wants, I can lead them by the hand to no 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 no. 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 Yeah, okay. I told him this was a circus. Little circus. 
Temerity, could you get them some food, please? Have you got any more of those berries you had? I'll take him to... I, I, uh, I actually... I actually and... Apologies. Uh, I will actually nod my head and then I slightly expand as a hole appears in my mouth. That hole appears in my body, and I'm no doubt about going to do what I did to Elden earlier. Um, but then uh, I kind of stop and have a moment of like, oh shit, this is probably going to freak that dude out. And I kind of go, give me a moment, and I fuck off. I'll come back about a minute later with, uh, uh, yeah, with uh, like 10 good breeze. He uh, looks at them, looks at you, looks around. Don't worry, the goo is actually a druid. These will help. Good. Would you... Uh, <clears throat> Do you want me to look like you? No. 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 It could make you feel I better. Just, Do you want me to leave you alone? I, the good berry and just... He hands one to Elden. Thank you. And eat it. <laughs> I gotta be weird. I'm not being weird. I'm eating the fruit. We have a lot to involve. Role play. Act did you play. actually eat? Did you actually eat the fruit? Yes. He takes another one and he nibbles it, swallows it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Maybe, uh, ring leader, we could get him to a cart some place where he could lay down on his own, you know? Let him rest. Oh yes, of course I kinda of grow a bit bigger and I was a bit like flustered by this. You can you can take up whatever broom you want. It's okay. Don't don't worry. I'll I'll I have to I have a lot of work to do. I'm very busy. It's very important. And I and I just like float the fuck away. Uh, so, I can help him find a empty or a, a free bed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, we'll go off, and as I, you know, we check in the um, residential carts. I guess just sort of, I won't introduce him to people. I'll just like point people out and explain the circus, and just give him a sense of his surroundings and the sounds he can expect to hear. So, yep. Do you want me to roll for finding a bed, or are you just going to take a 10 on that? I, I'm assuming you know where the beds are. Yes, I'm yeah. I'm going to roll. Oh. All right. Um, as you're pointing everybody out, you happen to point out your guide to Jeed, which causes him to, uh, for the first time, sort of brighten up a little bit. And he says, my tribesman. Oh, oh, really? Um, well, would you like to go over to speak to him? He looks at himself. I, um. Oh, would you want to get freshened up first? I'll rest after. Okay, all right. Rest now. He'll be staying with us for the whole trip, so you'll have plenty of time to talk. All right, so, yeah, find him a bed, and um, if I can find the people who are staying in there too, just kind of warn them to kind of stay away for several hours and make arrangements that he can join us at dinner or something. Okay. Uh, does anyone have anything very specific um, that they want to do? I'm kind of going to assume that the things that you 
uh, had said that you were going to learn about things like game um, gaming for Zill and um, actually I forget what some of the people were doing, but you know everybody was doing thing mm -hmm. specific things. I'm sort of assuming that you'll do that unless you say otherwise. I am gonna um, skin and get what little meat there were was in the way of jackals off of them. The two corpses I brought back. Sounds delightful. Do you have to roll to do that? <laughs> or do you I just... Have a, I have a thing where I can literally just make things out of their bones. So, so yeah. All right. So, yeah, it's... I probably skinned a lot and, like, butchered a lot of animals in my time. Probably have. And uh, these ones, really not a lot of meat there, but uh, you get what you can. Okay. Right. Well, um, I'm going to take, uh, whenever we get on the next long rest, I'm going to switch out one of my spells for identify and then identify the uh, screwdriver. Ah, what you have there is an all-purpose tool. Um, and if I could grab washes or not, because I can't. There it is. Sorry. Give me a second. Where are those magic? But oh, Walx, do you do you always do this? You're like, hey, that's a living talking thing. Like, if I die, are you gonna turn my bones into like an accordion or something? I mean, no. Why would I turn it into an accordion? <laughs> Turn him into a I dagger. Think he's more worried that you're going to. You'll be much more useful as a dagger. See, my notes. I hope I would make more than one dagger. Oh, so that's weird, bud. That's real Rich. weird. I find it quite interesting. So, this simple yeah. screwdriver, this all purpose tool, can transform into a variety of tools as an action. You can touch the item and transform it into any type of artisan's tool of your choice. Whatever form the tool takes, you're proficient with it. When holding this tool, you gain a bonus to the spell attack rolls and the saving throw DCs of your artificer spells. It's a plus one, uncommon. Um, the bonus, and as an action, you can focus on the tool to channel your creative forces. Choose a cantrip that you don't know from any class list. For eight hours, you can cast that cantrip and it counts as an artificer cantrip for you. Once this property is used, it can't be used again until the next dawn. This requires attunement by an artificer. Nice. I don't think I have any items attuned to me yet. I put a description in the chat. Yeah, Thank you. Um, and then otherwise, oh, and then the other thing that I'm going to do after ritualizing that thing is um, I'm going to change one of one of my magic items to a uh alchemist brew alchemist pot i forget what it's called it can i can get eight gallons of water out of it a day pretty much that thing so put a bunch of chemicals together and then make water why not so. okay yeah so extra water everybody eight whole gallons yeah yes Woo. Woo, that is water. good I remember off the top of my head, everybody needs something. I don't want to. I don't want to do it off the top of my head, but it's it's a little something. It will give you like uh, a little extra buffer, so that's good. All right. So, anybody else have a thing that they want to do today? I think after Vianney takes care of... Sorry, what was the name of the guy? Did we ask him? You or, asked him. He hasn't said anything yet. Okay. Our our unnamed guest. Uh, yeah, let's do... Well, I don't know. What do people want to do with the blue balls? Should we put them inside one of the caravans for an inner light? Or should we use them to light things on the outside? I guess I'm kind of worried about attracting attention, but we're lighting fires anyway, so... But fires can be put out. There you go. Well, this can be too by just yeah. throwing a cloth over it. Uh, how much light do they put off, like feet wise? Uh, they. Torchlight, campfire. 
They basically, um, it, it's more like a torch. Is that 10 feet of bright, 5 feet of dim or something? Yeah, it's, um, it's very similar to that orb that um, comes out. Uh, yeah, but let, we'll say that. 10 feet of bright, 5, per, five feet of dim. Oh, yeah, I was just pulling it up, too. So. But the Essentials Kit. Oh, I'm sorry. It provides bright light in a 20-foot radius. Dim light for an additional 20 feet, a torch does. Mm. Yep. That makes sense. Okay. okay. So, all right. Or reference. Yeah, so 20 feet in 20 feet, I mean, we could use it to travel at night and kind of make sure the no one falls into, or at least the animals don't fall into, um, you know, holes or something. Is what I'm thinking. We use it for the good. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll just assume that if it we run out of, we'll see him duck. Yes. I can't see in the dark be good for me, too. Um, yeah, so can we fasten them to the first part or carriage in the. I don't know, uh, what a caravan? Um. Yeah, somebody needs to roll me uh, a sleight of hand. It probably be. I'll, hopefully, I'll just I've got a seven. Off. I have a plus five, so I can help you. Oh, okay. all right. Okay, it's probably Let's better go together. This. We'll try to like yeah, yeah. because they're orbs and stuff. It's kind of difficult. So yeah, I'll assist you. Thanks for the help, Timor. That is stealth. Oh dang it! Sorry, you right, snuck up. up. You <laughs> sneak up. <laughs> all doesn't see. Well, you don't fight the animal. <laughs> Twenty-one. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Yes, you are able to attach it quite easily. All right, we've got glow balls. Stealthily, stealthily attaching the blue balls. Yep. Yeah, you kind of, uh, you scare the crap out of the person who was riding in the front. It was just like, oh, I didn't see that. Yet. <laughs> she jumps like a mile. It's... She's feeling kind of weird. Like she's like, something's going on with her brain. She's a little different today. Some point I will after I have um, butchered up up the where jackals what little meat I have I will bring it to Tamarity. Do you want me to fry it or something? It's food. How way you think think yeah. it, it would best be served? Uh huh. Well. Um... I don't think I've cooked sentient jackals before, but this shall be interesting. Okay. And I'll think of something else. Back. <laughs> he just <laughs> leaves it and walks back. All right. Sentient jackal pie on the menu tonight. <laughs> well, previously sentient. There <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna go around <laughs> eating people now. <laughs> the dead. Yeah, well, while we're uh, eating the meat, Timothy can find a bone and start working on his form. For the oh. for the sake of um, some posterity, I'm gonna. Uh, well, the ringleader is. Um, Actually, going to be spending a bit of time with Temerity, and is going to chat with you. Um, it's not going to be much of a much of a discussion, but is um, you've you, you you kind of got a consideration of like what, what, how the ringleader speaks, and is kind of just generally a bit halting. But um, something that would be is like even like in world right we've been traveling for quite some time and the ringleader's kind of been busy doing this and that and kind of trying to be useful and this would probably be going to be the first time in a bit of a while that they've got a bit of time so they're going to spend it with the cook all right so temerity you're there trying to um figure out what to do with the jackal meat 
and um, suddenly the ringleader comes up to you. Ah, uh, ringleader. Do you think Basil will fix this? I don't know. Let me try it. Um. Yes. Now I've got a little less to work with. Oh well. Um, <laughs> so, what can I do for you? It is important to me that I have a good working relationship with all of my uh, fellow carnies. And as a result, I have come here to speak to you. Tell me. Uh, and with this, um, the ringleader kind of tips over the hat and a piece of paper like floats out of the hat. And it's got nothing written on it but it seems to be important enough for the ringleader to, um, you know, just have. The ringleader clearly looks at it and then kind of says, um, what is your favourite flower and when does it bloom? I don't actually have a favourite flower. I was never into botany. This has successfully stumped the ringleader, and they don't really have much to say. My favourite flower is a water lily. It blooms in... I don't, I don't know. Someone used magic in order to make it bloom, so I don't know when it is made. I can see that taking the mysticism out of it a little. It was very, very odd. Tell me, do you have anything of interest that you want to speak to me about? I'm not sure. Hmm. But he's going to think for a moment and then go, do you actually taste food? No. So you just consume it? You asked me a question and I wanted to be helpful. <laughs> as long as you're honest. So, you don't find it strange that people have particular tastes, foods they prefer? The... Um... Uh, the ringleader is going to be a bit quiet for a second and then kind of say, I have tastes, I, I like things, but it's not exactly, uh, no, that's the wrong word to say. I have tastes and I have interests. What's your favorite food? A nice bit of beef, sometimes a bit of pork, but yeah, a good steak rarely goes wrong. Why did you become a cook, chef? Because I like feeding people. I like cooking, I like the craft, I like coming up for new recipes. Although I do get stumped when someone just gives me formerly sentient meat to work with. Do you have a problem with the formerly sentient meat of the dead? Well, only that I've had one of them cute before. Box decided to. Oh, Butch I'm very sorry. Yeah. They were trying to kill us. Or imprison us or something. Was it very hard? 
The boy from before was very unhappy. They looked scared. The boy from before? They were scared of me. They wouldn't eat, oh. they wouldn't go near me. Um. How many sentient goos, slimes, and things might you have met? Um, the ringleader is going to look at you with a look of complete, like, lack of understanding, not really understanding what you're asking. He's been through, by the looks of him, quite a bit of trauma recently. And now he's been rescued by people that, to him, probably don't seem to have much in common. And then he gets to their caravan and finds what to him is a lump of goo is a top hat, speaking to him and apparently in judge. It's entirely new for him at a time he's probably not going to be able to take it too well. So give him time, he'll get over it and he'll accept you soon enough. I don't want him to accept me, I want him to be okay. They pretty much go hand in hand. Ah. Next time you get, next time you find somebody, could you warn me before? Because I can do this. And um, the ringleader kind of collapses into themselves for a second and they kind of like move around a bit like a sack. You know, uh, you know, that kind of like cartoon thing of a sack that kind of like, you know, bits move around inside it kind of thing. And then um, they expand and they assume another one of the shapes of another one of their personas. This one is of Lady Mardi Bell. Um, and uh, they basically look a bit a bit on a bit past, you know, on the other side of middle age, basically. Um, quite prim, quite proper, dressed in um, kind of like the fat controller three piece pinstripe suit kind of thing. Um, and this one kind of says, I am always ready to welcome anybody who needs help. You know myself, Temerity. Indeed I do. And I'm learning more and more about you every day, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm I must be on to... my way. All right. Um, Goodbye. Take, take uh, care of yourself. Uh, the ringleader is going to walk off and, um, yeah, like, uh, is going to be in this shape, the shape of Lady Mardibel, uh, for the rest of the day. Temerity is going to decide he can't pass the time, but he's going to leap into the air to watch for everyone's reactions. I'm sorry, I didn't hear, quite hear the last part that you said. Temerity is going to leap into the air so he can watch everyone's reactions. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, uh, guys, how do you react? A new woman this? is wandering around. We haven't seen this form before, or... Have I? I mean, I leave it up to you to decide. Um, they're wearing the ringleader's hat, and, um, like, this is a persona still... that the ringleader assumes, you know, just like Happy Hulk, just like other personas. Um, and it's just to do with, like, whether or not you've seen it. You guys can decide. Do they still smell like the ringleader? No. Of course they don't. 
Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, no, no, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> with that, I'm down with that. Yeah, I smell entirely different. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe, but like I said, but like I said, Volks, you could have like already seen this person already. You know that um, ringleader assumes different personas. You know, I would assume it's just Marvel that this has. happens to be that somebody outside of the show. I'm sorry, Pastor, I overspoke you. I would, I, mean, I would assume Marvel yeah. has. So she would just wave joyfully and be like, "Hey, ringleader, you looking good?" If if Marvel has seen it, uh, then. Walt would also have seen it because he's been at the service longer. No, I have. Yeah? Yeah. Been here for three oh. years. Yeah, I've been for more than <laughs> more than that. I matter more. <laughs> All right, so uh, from what you see, this is strangely uh, temerity. This has strangely caused uh, Marble and Wolves to fight. <laughs> About who's been here longer? <laughs> Who matters more? <laughs> and Wolves is just confused. Why does it matter? <laughs> if I wanted to roll for Viani, would it be intelligence or wisdom to kind of figure out, like, she has seen the ringleader change shapes, but also that the clothing remains the same? Uh, that's more of an intelligence, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know who yeah, this so is. Did she, she, she stops in her tracks dead and then kind of thinks about it and then, oh, okay. And then goes, yeah. Are you talking Zill? Because I think you might be muted. No, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Anything else? I would say that Marble would just be skipping around the camp, seeing if anyone needed anything or wanted to cause trouble. And then, of course, arguing with Walks that I am more important. <laughs> Um, I would like to see, I'm not sure if there are any, maybe Walks would be the person to ask, who knows, but if there are any crossbows with us on, like, if that's something that we packed along for my, for my boys. Extra crossbows. Um, I mean, you could ask Walks if you wanted to. Interrupt our arguing. Yeah, that's true. Box. Yes. Did we bring any extra crossbows? I mean, I didn't personally bring them. I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But you know, if we packed any in our that no, that was out of that was out of character. Out oh, of character. Okay. Like I didn't personally bring any, but do I know if we brought any? Um. I don't, help I don't know. How would you know? Like, would you have... You did help pack. But I um, probably wouldn't have really taken much notice of the weapons since I'm not going to be using them. Hmm. I would say, from what I understand, unless somebody has an argument otherwise, I can't see why you would have brought crossbows. Extra crossbows. Maybe one? Like, in case one got broken? but I can't see you just, like, stacking up a bunch of crossbows. Mm. That's fair. If that only sense. we had someone who made lists. I know, right? Hey! Yeah! We do have someone who makes lists. Um, oh. Did we... Did, did Okay. Oh, uh, shoot. What was his name? He had a name. List guy. Cedric. Huh? Cedric. 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 Cedric, yes. It's in it's in the side on uh, he's in the character list on the side in Roll Twenty. It is? Cool. Okay, yes, I gotta find ah. Cedric then. Cedric. And ask him if he's got an inventory of all the weapons we brought with us. Oh yes. Cedric Proudholm. He says, uh, of course, of course, sir. Um 
Uh, I am looking for spare crossbows for my boys so they can practice target. They can do some target practice. Um, we did bring an extra, uh, only the one, and and twenty arrows. Twenty arrows. Okay. Ah, uh, that'll do. Well, can I can I borrow it? You can put it on. I don't know. Uh, of course, of course. It's... Make a note that I. <laughs> no, I I. I'm just the one who makes the lists. I, you can do whatever you want. Oh, okay. cute. Sounds good. Thanks for. Um, also, if you are uh, free, I have uh, a very large inventory of nonsense in my cart. If you. I'm sorry. I I have That's an okay. appointment with the ringleader. Perhaps some um, another day. Yes. Thank you. And I'm gonna give my this to my boys and be like, okay. Don't lose the bolts, please, but here you go. Set up a target. Do your best. Give them a few pointers. Give them a few, like, you know, aim down the center kind of things. Oh, they seem to be doing pretty well. All right. All right, practice that. That's like your first lesson, and then we'll move on to... We'll get to guns eventually. Promise. All right. I'm going to hold you to that, boss. Biani wants to track down whoever it was who ended up with the uh, journal that we found. That's uh, a good point. I wasn't there when you found it. Have, you, have I been told about I the concept of that journal? I don't think so. Because um, it was marble and... Um, me, I think. An elder. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and I who found it. Um, yeah, so I don't know who put it in their pockets, but uh, presumably the one of the three of us. Because we wanted to bring it back to Cedric because we couldn't read the language on the last page. Oh, yes. Let's see, what does he speak? Does he speak that? I don't think so, but... Um, he says, I am, I'm deeply sorry, but this is a very strange language to me. I, um, I believe it is one of the Ravnican languages. Um, okay. All right. And, well, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very sorry, madam. It's okay. We'll just keep a hold of it. I, maybe I'll just keep a hold of it. Anyone have a problem with that? Uh, who's around to, are you asking? I <laughs> guess. Uh, All right. Um, I guess I'll ask at dinner. All right. When we see each other. Should we skip ahead to dinner? You can, if no one else has anything before dinner. Okay. All right. So dinner comes. Um, it includes jackal. <laughs> apparently. Uh, basil. Is it tough? With, with basil? Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, what do you what do you think? Um to marry oh, you thinking? Yeah, probably I mean, stewed. It's just so it's probably gonna not it's probably gonna be on definitely tough, but not inedible. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm not a butcher, I'm not actually a cook, so I can't. I think if you, uh, honestly, yeah, I think you're right that yeah, it would take a while to yeah, it, get these to be, be. It would be tough, <laughs> very lean meat that you would probably need to stew for a while to actually make it chewable. Mm. Real gamey. Gamey. Mm. <laughs> Uh, over also, it's, pre it's predator meat. <laughs> uh, over dinner, um, maybe Eldon, Vianney, and Marvel could share the contents of the journal and also remind me what they are because I've, I, while I'm taking notes about the journal. Um, they are still in your, they should still be yep. in your hand, handout, so you should be able and to. Need oh, and need right. a well kept captain's log, including lists of crew, cargo, and passengers, and the licenses and paperwork of the ship. The recent anaconda, 
dating back six months. The captain mentioned several times the important and the delicate and covert nature of the journey, but it's not specific as to the details. Two incidences are described between Aslan Formfair and the Simian, uh, sorry, the Simian, Simic Combine Guild and Adel, Adele Vesselheim, Vesselheim, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, of the Orsvok Syndicate. No idea if I pronounced that correctly either. Orsvok Syndicate, I believe. Okay. Uh, but again, deal to, again, details are avoided. There are mentions of experimental subjects and financial obligations. The captain, the captain planned to have a meeting with both individuals. The last entry is messier than the others and written in Vidalkin. 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 I don't know. Again, I don't know how to pronounce weird, weird D&D words. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't come up with all of these, you know. A couple, no, maybe. But <laughs> now that is the content of that log. All right. So you share that. As you're discussing this, uh, Tajid comes with his uh, with the uh, gentleman that you rescued, and they both sit down quietly. Um, Tajid will say, "This is Emir Sakan. He uh, was he's a very." Uh, very i'm watching people try not to laugh stop it <laughs> people uh and he says he was captured some time ago by this evil lamia he is uh a brewer, a master brewer, but uh, all of his supplies and all of his brews were taken. And he was uh, made a slave. He wishes to thank you and is sorry for his offense in being, uh, finding it difficult to speak to the regulator. And Amir Sakan just sort of nods. That's okay. The ringleader is a little extra, no. Startling at first. Took me Sparkling. a bit. Sparkling. Sparkling, yeah. Um, you get used to it, but no no offense was taken. We are happy that you're oh, you are doing well. Amir. That's perfectly fine, my darling. Please now sit down. We have Jekyll on the table. And, I'm sorry, um, what? You know. Do you not no. sing the ringleader? I am, have Jekyll? I am the I, uh, yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. We have we have we have the Jack we have Jekyll. It is the best in the world and I'm just eating it down. Loving no it. Problem? All my life, all my heart. Mm -hmm. Why? We have Jackal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why, why would we leave leave our prey behind? Are you okay, Elden? Why would mm. I would think that you would? You weren't complaining upset. about the pie until now. I wasn't eating the pie until now. Oh. Put it in my lunchbox. Have you enjoyed that? I, you're why eating. Do you put your food in your lunchbox to eat it later? He's food. But it's dinner time. Yeah, it's, it's in there. Why are you eating jackal? Don't, don't, don't switch this up. Why are you? What do you mean? Why are we eating eating the, eating the prey we killed? Because it's, it's not prey. One. Yes, it is. I hope everybody. We is went in there and killed just it. Observing, like I am. It is meat. I why would you waste? Slam my hand. I I put my hands on the table with a like. You know, that kind of thing. And I say, you are making a scene at dinner. Sit down and eat your food. 
Yeah, elder. And I attempt to look as like matronly as I can. Um, <laughs> but you can kind of see my skin kind of go a bit translucent as I do this. Clearly, I've never had to do this before. So, you know, like, this is like, this is like really, I'm out of my fucking element here. Marble's gonna slightly snicker as she's eating. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get up with my lunchbox, gotta walk to the nearest trash can, dump it out, and go back to my cart. Crazy <sighs> people. I'll go brewed by a hole somewhere. I'm so I'm so sorry for the rudeness of my of my colleagues. Uh dear Amir, please, please sit down, sit down. Here, have some food and like I uh, give them some fucking jackal, in it. They sit down. They say um, uh, may I have bread, please? I, I, I give them, like, a bit of bread, and I give them some of my bread as well. You know, I am a river to my people and all that shit. Uh, thank, thank She's you. She's flat, but it's by the way. Um, I, I do not think I could... I, I do not think I, I, I um, these people, these were the people that they took me. Um, I cannot, I cannot eat. I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry. It's just good old big folks over there rubbing off on us. Yes. I really didn't think you surface dwellers did things like this. Why ever himself. wouldn't we? And I'm eating this shit with both hands. I'm just gobbling it down. <laughs> I'm eating Most it. of the soft skins don't. <laughs> they waste food. Well, I don't waste it where I'm from, but we don't eat it either. Never had jackal before. Delicious. Thank you, Tamari. I, I would have had it before because we were at my tribe and had interacted with them and probably hunted them down since we knew, knew how to damage them. Mm. Not surprising. So, Silviani, are you eating anything? No. This is beneath me. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best response. <laughs> we fed uh, this to slaves. <laughs> I get up and I leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, Viani, it's part of the you know, skipping meals. You stay thin. Sk no, no, no. Uh, she'll probably take a piece to be polite, but she's not going to dig in. Like, let the uh, ring leader have more. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I feel I feel unduly attacked by all of these people being like, Ew, I don't like it. It's fantasy world. People eat dragon. <laughs> Oddly enough to note, he's gonna be more insulted by Zim's reaction than Elden's. <laughs> it's, it's a rare creature. You think Zil's gonna eat that? Yes! It was probably diseased. That's bad meat. You'd rather you not eat. <laughs> I'm not um, surprised that there was enough meat for, for all of us to have some, considering how gone these people, these people I'll, look. Okay, I, 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 I want, I want, I want, I want the major. I want the power of the majority. Uh, GM, who, who else amongst the farm hands and followers and all that shit? Who else is eating the the formerly human jackal meat? Wife is definitely uh, with. Wife, yeah, she yeah, will. Wife. Um. Uh, probably Auntie Mimsy will have a little. Uh, yeah, Auntie Mimsy's on my side. Good. Yeah, Lala Luna is looking at you like you're all in out, out of it. Um, Kalia will eat it. Um, Safira was looking at it and but as soon as she saw her boss stand up and walk off she's like 
walks up to. <laughs> so, um, probably on Kila, she'll just have the salad. As will Tajid, he won't eat, he'll eat around it. But they don't, they don't seem to be judging. They just seem to be uninterested in personally eating it. <laughs> I'm glad my aunt is eating with me. Disgusting. All of you. <laughs> You're not even here, so no. shut up. Um, she says, oh, by the way, <laughs> sweetie, um, you know that egg? Yes. It's, um, it's about to hatch. So I thought... <laughs> I thought perhaps um, you should take it. And you have your uh, mommy cockatrees over here. Shut up! You're not even here. So, uh, um, yes, uh, I, I think. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> she sort of just puts it in your hands and says, "Unless you want someone else to have it, which might be wise. I don't want it in my cart. You know, these things are." They're horrible. They're horrors, and I have very delicate things in my cart, so perhaps, you know, yeah, so maybe yes, someone yeah. else will want um, to yeah. be its mommy. <laughs> Give it to Zoe. You're not even here. I know. Neither I still. don't have an Elden on my shore. Mm. Biani, do you want to be its mom? Uh, well, how much maintenance are we talking about here? Auntie, how much maintenance? <laughs> we have no idea. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I I've, I know a lot of things, but um, how to take care of a baby hook horror? No, I don't know that. Sorry. Well, I bet between, like, oh, I can take care of it. I bet Zill and Eldon will be able to help with advice, if not actual care. Let's have a go. Yeah, let's go find Eldon. Let's go annoy him. <laughs> he went to school. He did go to school. He did set foot right. on the campus. He's a dropout. He's um <laughs> still upset in his me. cart. Yes, I found a hole and I'm brooding next to it. Even though I feel like my family gave me a great education. Eldon. Eldon. We got some questions for you. Walk it up to you with an egg. <laughs> the egg has started to like flake off a bit. So there's a long crack <laughs> along it. This thing's you about can to hatch. Hear. And it needs a mommy. Heck. Heck. <laughs> it's gonna impress on it's gonna like um attach to someone. We're thinking about you. <laughs> it can't be me. My aunt said no. I wouldn't trust you to raise anything either. Um so Ow. she was going <laughs> This is what you get for not helping me with the jackal thing. I was too busy laughing. Eating jackal. They were people. That's you don't point. waste food. Okay, we're kind of in the middle of a... Okay, uh, yes, okay we're, we're in an emergency. Um, do I probably have all sorts of books, because I'm one of those college students who keeps all of his books. Well, hurry up. Uh, do I have any, like... Could I try to just look through my books, see what I got on raising hook horrors or anything on hook horrors? <laughs> Biology 101. You could roll a, you could roll a uh, intelligence. Oh. Ah, 19. Ah. Smart. <laughs> This one. Um, you, you obviously know, <laughs> don't have how to raise hook, hook horrors, but you have several books on hook horrors, and you have how to raise, like, birds. Okay. Um, so, specifically, I need to find out what they need right now. Well, what is the first thing it needs? First thing it needs is a mommy. Yeah, and I know. Viani's it, right? Well, I mean, it might yet. pick. It might pick itself. Anyway, what do we do? What do we do? I I'm, I'm trying to I read have the book. An idea. No, okay. I have an idea. So I'll I'll stand get in some a hot circle. water and some. It requires like um, it, it will take a while for it to mm -hmm. learn how to 
be on its own. It needs food. It will make a lot of noise. It's probably needs somebody to sort of drop things into its mouth and it might bite. So with its little beak, so you have to be careful. That's okay. I got a robot for that part. Um, Are you going to be the mommy? I'm, I have a robot to feed it, but I'm assuming it needs some sort of food and or milk. Is Wish going to be the mommy? Probably, honestly. I'm not doing You that. suspect it eats meat. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. That means Wilkes is perfect. That's actually not... Yeah, that's actually really... All right. I'm smart. Let's go. Let's go. Let's okay. Let's go. You're find right. Walks. This is Walks. Okay. <laughs> the three, the of three of us and an with egg. a baby and wish. Um, All right. And... Go find Walks. Go, go find Walks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, by the way, Viani's grabbed one of the blankets off of Eldon's bed and is sort of like using it to carry as the shell is cracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And things yeah. are flanking off for the baby. All um, right. Wash it later. Um, <laughs> as you approach Walks. Uh, make an insight check. 23. <laughs> Marble, something is very upsetting to, is very up, wrong with Volks. He looks, and you don't know, uh, from lizards, but you've never seen him look like this before. He looks disturbed. He looks, well, Volks, you tell them how you seem to... You know, I look. I look like something is wrong. Like lizard folks don't have a lot of like, don't really feel their emotions. They just have them. Like you can tell that he's definitely thinking about something. There's something. Like if he wasn't a lizard folk, he would pro- he would seem very upset. Um, just yeah, upset. He would seem upset. Walks. What's wrong? You look different. Almost like mm-hmm. you're feeling upset, but not really. Yeah, it's been a long couple of days. And it's been a while since I've been back in the desert. Hmm. He's, with your insight check, he's not telling you the truth. <laughs> hmm. That's not true. And I know I'm not going to get the truth out of him. At least not now. Because I have an egg, and it's hatching, and it needs mommy. <laughs> Do you have beef jerky? Wilkes, mm-hmm. can you be this predator's mommy? Or daddy? Whatever you are. I can take care of it, yes. Okay, here you go. I'm going to pass him I the egg. Awesome. grab the egg. Yeah, here. Biani passes it over, the blanket. Eldon's bed blanket it's and literally everything. literally about the hat. Eats meat, mm-hmm. and it can kill things for you if you train it. Also, oh. train it. Don't neglect it. Sure, you would. Neglect it? Yes. That's no, I'm... train it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, right. mm-hmm. yeah. to anybody looking at you with insight, what would they see in the way that you uh, get the egg and bring it to you? He, and he, Vox seems like. Strangely, it, it took him strangely little time to accept being this creature's mummy. Also, please don't eat it. He's not going to eat it. Well, 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 please should just be clear. Just be clear. I'm not going to eat it. Okay, see, now, now see? I feel better. It's okay, we're just... He looks like he knows what he's doing. Trust me. So I've held, both of those I've held but race, no, race ma- many, many young lizard folks in the tribe. Yeah. Okay. I believe in so you. So he knows. Please don't eat He's it. He's good. He's not going to eat it. And with that, that's it. That's all I got for you, buddy. You're on your own. Oh, I'll, good luck. I'll take. And I hope you don't feel sad. I'll make you some. Um, I'll make you some gloves that are like. Um, Metal tipped no. fingers, so you can feed it no. without losing a finger. I have, I have. Oh, you can regrow them. I'm fine. He has really thick scales. <laughs> I won't. I won't be bitten by it. You know, I, mean, I hope you're entertained by all this. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Have a pet. 
Or what are you going to name a book? Book. Mm. That's disappointing. Name. Shouldn't you name. wait until like Shut you see up. his personality and like get a good the personality? Book is a good name. It's gender also, neutral. I can always rename name it. That's true. Yeah. I, I, That's I, don't so know. I was thinking like you know, ferocious or fear or something. I Killer. To it. <laughs> Uh, oh, Aviani wants to know what the birth is going to look like. All right. Well, it, <laughs> it as you're talking, again, it starts to comes through the eggshell, right? This this hook, hook, and then you see it. Then you see it crack. You see a beak come out, and more fighting. And before you know it. The whole thing shatters, and this very odd gargoyle baby looking thing, but also scrawny and but with really vicious talons going <coughs> and it looks up at Wolks and goes. <coughs> I'll I'll go find it some I'll go <laughs> find it some food and drop it into its mouth some meat. It can get some of the the, the jackal pie. It loves the jackal pie. <laughs> oh, good. I'll 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 feed it when necessary. <laughs> That's my baby hook horror impression. <laughs> I, I mean, we don't we don't know what they actually sound like, so. Probably know that's perfect. I, I think it is. I, I nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> with that taken care of, it, it turns um, to night. And it's about time to make off. All right, I'm going to, if everything is okay, um, Actually, bulks. Just roll me a an animal handling. Ah, right, of course. Boop. Nope, I am absolutely terrible. It bites you. It's not that it's it's not so much that you're terrible. It's that this is a this is an actual monster, you know, baby, and um, it's sort of a an alien creature without any sense yeah. of it's not looking for mother um so it caws all the time makes terrible noise it um oh, is annoying. wildly incontinent um uh, it bites it scratches <laughs> it's a real pleasure well, Wolf is, is going to clean up after it and take care of it. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think we can skip forward a couple of days, and I'm going, you're, you were able to go without further issue for a couple more nights. Um, on the third night, I will have you roll me a D6. Somebody, just anybody, roll me a d6. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, well, Marble was first. Yeah, so. once. <laughs> okay. Uh, so after a couple of days, Tajit comes to you and says, um, we are... Uh, he'll go up to, I guess, the ringleader and say, hello, sir. May I um, make a recommendation to you? Yes. What is it you wish? We are not far from a town that is, uh, they have many great trade. Uh, it is, um, a strange town, I will admit. It is called Sularak. 
and they have an oasis. It would be a day outside of um, outside of travel, but uh, you may find it uh, very uh, useful. They have many different um, things to sell. It's a strange town. I I grant. So, but you are strange people. This sounds like a positively smashing idea. When can we go? We can go now. Um, we'll we'll speed ahead then. All right, we shall be there by morning. All right, so by morning, you guys find yourself hang on, in the town of Sularak. Okay. arranged desert town and I don't know who wants to give me a perception check I'm pretty good at those okay yeah me and marble have a look around yeah um yeah 12 and 13 see about the same it's it's not a a big town um as you come in, it looks uh, prosperous, though. Like, uh, there's a, a monument in the middle, uh, and most of the houses are clustered around this, o- this, oasis, this oasis that they that have. They have. Um, um, the people that you see are all... There's some children running around, there's some people talking, and you notice that they're all of rather odd lineages. There aren't, you don't see any humans, you don't see any dwarves, you see some bird-looking creatures and a a giant lion-looking person, uh, much bigger than marble. Uh, sort of is walking around at some point following what looks to be like little lion cub people. Oh, you are in Silver Marble, Marble's gonna look at the lion people in awe. <laughs> but they look at you, um, and they say, uh, Yes, my children are beautiful, are they not? Quite beautiful. She's going to give them a little wave. Welcome to Sularak. I am Zomira of the Sunwood Clan. I'm Marble in the Sky. Very nice. We have some of yours here, too. (laughs) Very nice. Uh, can I help you find anything? Oh, I'm not sure. Let me get the ringleader. Ringleader! Found someone to talk to. They're very pretty. I don't, I, I don't know why, but like for some reason, the system that I used before isn't working anymore. Sorry. Um, yes, indeed, darling. I am here. I have not been ignoring you in any way, shape, or form. I am here, and we are here so that we can find some provisions. We are traveling through to the Oasis, and it's far away. Is there anything like that that we can buy here, my dear? I have to say, you look very smashing, so tall like that. She's, she's a, this is a lion-in, right? It's like a lion uh, yep. lady. Yeah. Leonin, I think that's what they're called, yeah. Leonin, yeah. You are quite tall, and your muscles, wow. Ah. I am oh, married. Slightly <laughs> jealous. Uh, 
but Harriet, uh, my dear. Yes. So, do you have any provisions that I might or may not have been able to procure for my troop? We are the Cirque du Sarang Sauvage. Ah. Well, welcome to our town. I am a uh, potter and tile maker. So, if that is something you want, however, we have all kinds of things. We have herbalist, a uh, spice merchant, magic shop, weavers, dyers, all of the very um, extraordinary people and uh, different uh, trades that you might find. Truly so, fantastic. You have quite the cavalcade of peoples around here, certainly different from anywhere else. I happen to feel a bit uh, out of place, if I'm honest, and I let out a hearty laugh. Uh, well, um, we are all people who have uh, come together. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Well, oh, isn't that fantastic? But really, you must show me some of your wares. I quite like some pottery. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and uh, spend some time looking up pottery and leaving All you right. focused. You do what you want, guys. Um, so her pottery and her and her husband, they're, uh, they live here and their shop is on the four, first level. So as you go in there, it's really beautiful stuff. It is um, colorful and uh, full of golds and, and sun motifs. Yeah. So any kind of pottery you might want. Um, I'm going to... Um... I'm going to do a bit of like, I guess it's like a performance type thing of like telling them about kind of um, uh, Lady Maskerville's kind of like thing. Lady Maskerville is somebody who's who was an adventurer with her late husband uh, as they traveled the world, you know, like just discovering ancient civilizations and shit like that. So she'll talk about how, like, oh, this is so beautiful. It reminds me of this. Oh, this is so nice. It reminds me of this. That kind of thing. And at the end, and towards the end of it, if there is, like, a an urn or something that looks decidedly, like, ringleader-like or at least big enough for ringleader to fit in if they were particularly tired, um, they you know, oh, I'm going to buy that. That looks like a good bed. All right. Um, you can find something like that for about three gold. And roll per uh, roll performance. This is a performance, so. Uh, she's a little overwhelmed at times by just your energy, you know, but she uh, seems to be very... Um, happy to listen and she shows you when you kind of say what size you're looking for she brings you uh to something and and you sort of I will say, oh, I was going to say that Marble would have gone with so she could play with the Cubs. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thirteen. 
Uh, she'll be she'll be understanding about that and play with them, but play with them carefully. Like roll a ball. <laughs> I pasta. My knee, that kind of thing. It's fine. Um, no, no, I do not think that that, that is appropriate. We have. Um, I do not wish any offense to you, but in these areas, too many children have gone missing. We are. I warn no. you. We watch our children very closely here. No, really, where have they gone? Uh, I've got a, I've got like a legit look of like earnest shock of like who the fuck would do this, you know? And I'll say that Marble's ears have perked up and she's got this look of like, no, what? Uh, you guys can roll persuasion. Someone with advantage. Both of us. Uh, Marble, Marbles. Um, like, is it, is it both I'm of us or one of us? Either one. Uh, you can either both of you can roll once, or one of or you, one can roll with advantage. Ugh. What do you want? To so do? just pick. <laughs> Marvel's gonna roll. I am managing to click on everything except the unmute unmute button, which is magnificent for me. Mm. Um, Marbles, I have a, a plus seven. To... Oh, I have plus six. So you can go. Okay. Either, uh, either of us can go. Um, okay, so with advantage uh, it is. Yes. Uh, there's that. All right. Uh, tell me when you see it, because I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing. No, I ain't clicked nothing. Uh, for some reason, ringleader is not letting me access my character sheet. Come on. As Come on, roll 20. You roll can do it. Roll yeah, roll 20 has been kind of funky today. Yeah, I know. There, there we are. Persuasion. Mm. They say they have been taken. We cannot say who. They hand you the, um, the pottery and say, if you have children in your circus, I would watch them carefully. We should find out who's taking the kids. Um, I will kind of uh, say, thank you very much for your advice, and please thank you very much for the, um, for this lovely pottery. Uh, do you have anything? Like, uh, we are heading towards the first oasis, uh, I believe, uh, out of character, Jim. Mm -hmm. We're going to an oasis, but... Yeah. Yeah, like, the one in the city. We... The city is built around one. Uh, the but oasis was... that you're going to is a larger oasis than this. It's yeah, sort of like, like that's kind of like what I thought. Yeah. I, don't I, I was think kind of assuming it was a different one. Yeah. And um, it will be about five days from here. Okay. Doing the math in my head. I, I, I say I'm go we're going to we are going to um uh, the away uh, the larger oasis about five days trip from here. Would you like me to take any messages or anything like that with me? No. Thank you anyway. Uh, yeah, 
I'll uh, walk out with my pottery and my, you know, um, mm -hmm. and uh, when we get outside, um, I'm gonna give the kids a high five. Well, uh, while I leave, I give you high fives back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay safe, kids. Stay you're near your parents. Yep, always do. Just gonna give him a thumbs up. Um, I um, like, how big is this pot? Um, I would say it is a. Uh, if you're gonna make me do this in, uh, think of it as like a, a little bigger than a two liter, soda bottle. It's all I know in metric, so that's what I can tell okay. you. <laughs> okay. okay. No, no, no. It, it, it's just to do with like if it was like a massive, great, big thing that I'm gonna have trouble carrying around. I would like find a place to leave it, but um, no, I can carry more, that around. That's easy. A more important question: Can the ringleader fit inside it? Um, I believe so. They would have given yeah. you something that the the ringleader could have fit inside. So, perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and so I'm going to um, when I leave, I'm going to you know just go like. Wasn't that lovely? That was a fantastic time. Did you enjoy talking to the children, playing with them? I did. It's been so long since I've been able to play with some cubs. Do well, you like children? Kittens. I do like children. Hmm. I don't understand them. I don't either sometimes. I am a bit I concerned kind of my that head. some of them are going missing. I wonder, uh, I wonder, Marbles, will you tell anyone if I started talking normally? This is very difficult on my voice. Oh, it's fine. Marble. Yes. <laughs> my voice is like, like I'm, I'm exactly the same, but my voice is like normal. And I kind of go, <laughs> I want to go find the children. Me too. We should Good. Get else. Let's go. I'm fucking <laughs> like, let's just go find these fucking kids. <laughs> let's go find these fucking kids. Stop them. So okay, well, while they've been on their pottery adventure, I would have gone to the straight to the oasis to start refilling our water supply. I'll, um, I'll be trying to get the ringleader to grab everybody else before we go find the kids, because it would be helpful to have more eyes. <laughs> when you go up, a a group of and you, you're from the desert, so you would have seen these kinds of Aarakocra. They are very similar to roadrunners. Oh, cool. Um, they have long back tails. That, they're quite fast, so they are like on you and they say, no, uh, no, 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 no. Me, me. <laughs> They don't understand that. They're like, uh, and uh, after they're sort of jumping up and down, uh, they are talking in a language that is very difficult to be understood. Like you could get no out of them, but there's a lot of clicking. There's a lot of mm. whistling and whirring. There's just a whole but dialect no, just... going on that is just not like, not translating. But after a, a bit of that, a, um, a turtle finds Ooh. his way over. There's a turtle. Desert turtle, yes. Yeah, that's me. I'm a desert turtle. See, what they're trying to tell you, sir, is that you can take what you need for the day, but we don't have people, you know, uh, we don't want everybody in their family and their circus to come and 
just take the whole thing. So, you know. I understand. What is precious out here? Yeah, it's precious. Name's Nortle. Volks. Good to meet you, Volks. Is there anything else that we can get you? Hmm. No. I was here for the water. But I understand that if you do not want want us to take large amounts of it. Yeah. We have enough to make make it to the big oasis. Ah. Sounds like a nice trip. Yes. I'm... Hoping we will be through soon. Yeah. It was good to meet you. I'm a locksmith. If any of your friends need locksmithing or fine smithing. Hmm. I will. I will mention it to the what, to two of my friends who might be interested in that. Hmm. Also, let them know my friend Doya. She's got a magic shop. I will. Great. And he walks away, very friendly. And I turn around and walk back to the others. All right, so while that was going on, would anybody else have been doing, what would other people have been doing? So we need, what, Zill, Temerity, Viani, Elvin. I'd do perception roll to find the spices. Yeah, sure. Wow. Um, you you can't... Know this is failing him. Yeah. Temerity doesn't find it but oddly you see your new friend Amir heading over and he says he says to you you are a cook yes but I am yeah Tamru she is, uh, she is very, um, the greatest keeper of spices around. I used to oh. buy my, uh, I used to buy my anise from her. It, I make the greatest sake you ever taste. It's a family recipe. Maybe I should let you into my kitchen sometime. Would you care to introduce us? Yes, I can do that. So he takes you over here. And you find, in fact, an enormous shop full of just... just perfect, gorgeous spices. All of them... uh, just you can just smell like far from like uh, just quite a ways away you start smelling them and when you get there you see that they're all preserved very well they are sorted they are brightly colored the scents are just pungent and alive and basically you can get just about anything you want Hamru is um a tall, very lean person, reddish skin, um, almost yellowish, actually. Um, uh, you can roll history and see if you can tell who this person is. Mm. 14. You're not sure. But 
Yeah, they uh, are friendly enough, and they, in fact, they look a little, hey, hey, um, hi. So, want some spices? I am always looking to try new things. I've got a and lovely... quite uh, the selection. Got a lovely uh, sumac. You like sumac? I think uh, not enough people use it. I don't think I've come across it before. Oh, it's it's good stuff. Good stuff. You can roll it um, inside if you want. It's good stuff. Right. It's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you can buy uh, you can sort of just say what kinds of stuff you want to uh, Tomoji's going to want to buy a broad range but not in large quantities enough that you could try out a few things so yeah uh, I would say if you get like just a range of things it would probably come to Four gold for like a little bit of everything. All right. He's going to spend his time getting good sniff of things coming up for ideas on the spot. You also see um, Amir looking kind of mournfully at, at some very beautiful anise seed. Bring you back some enemies? Yes. I, uh... Anise seeds. I, I know, but anytime someone says that, I can't, all I'm, I hear is, is anus. I don't know why. You guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm mentally 12. We're sorry, Mom. We should be more Sorry, mature. Mom. <laughs> now, it's... no. Don't listen to them, because you know what they were asking Mommy to do last time. <laughs> Choke me. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah, he says, uh, I hope my, I, I was with my, um, a young man. He was my protege. I, I hope he made it. He ran. Uh, I stayed behind to get their attention. I, I think he would probably have made it back. Does any would anybody here know him? Uh, they would not know. No, he. He would not. Uh, he would not have had uh, reason to come here, but thank you. Well, we'll keep an eye out for him. There's just chance. And with that, he kind of walks out. All right. Uh, Vianney. Yeah, Viani is, well, her main mission was to go and see if there were any other places that sold potions of healing <laughs> while they were here. Um, but, yeah, she's, like, again, experiencing almost now, like, other people's thoughts as she's walking through the market or near the oasis, and it's kind of disturbing. So, um, But she does still go out looking for uh, sources of healing potions that might be on sale. All right, so where... Uh, put yourself, where were you when you kind of wandered in here? 
Ah, okay. Let's see. Ooh, oh, it's a very big map. Am I the only person not on here yet? Okay, no. So which so we'd be coming in as a group, right? Yeah. Are we coming in from the north or the south, y'all, or the east or the west? What's uh Well, we would presumably be coming in from northwest ish. I was yes. thinking, yeah, northwest ish. So that's the direction right. we're traveling. Okay. Yep. So okay. if we came in from yep that direction, well, then we're traveling southeast. But... Yeah. Obviously, the big obelisk in the center would be a place that would attract All attention. Right. You know, like congregations um, of persons. Quick question. Would you have left? You would probably have left before I came back. Probably, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. The, the thoughts you hear are very confusing. Part of which just being that these are not necessarily humans. Um, as you uh, go by this person's house, uh, she's feeling good. <laughs> and okay. you get the sense that she has been finding something to make herself feel good. So her thoughts are very, mm. oh, look, new people, they want Spice. Okay. Um, Someone's having a lazy afternoon. <laughs> uh, as you go by this person's house, um, you have a sense of of dark darkness, of um, thoughts of anger and hate. Ooh. Let's stay away from that house. What is going on? It's like, why am I picking these things up? Uh, if you head more over here, you know, mm -hmm. that that is a much more pleasant feeling. You have some, you get, you're getting definitely some concern and some worry, but these, uh, these thoughts are, are, um, there's almost a golden halo around the, these people to you. Their their thoughts are very noble and and considerate. They're thinking about their children. They're thinking about uh, protection. They're they're very loving. Uh, is that just a house or a shop? All of these places are houses and shops. Okay, poker. She'll poke her head in. See what's on offer there. Uh, this is where the tile, the potters are. Oh. Um, so uh, this is Dion and Zumera of the Sunward Clan. They look at you and they say, uh, "Hello. Do you uh, are you in the market for tiles?" Oh no, we're we're just passing through. Um, sorry, you probably get this a lot, but. Um, is there anybody in the area who sells like potions, healing, and things oh. like that? Yes, yes. Uh, you should go to Doya Tango shop. Okay. And Where, that's okay. I'm pointing at kind of just around the corner. All right, lovely. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You are welcome. So you. if you head in there, you find another um, turtle. And uh, seven little turtles. Ooh. Just sort of running around. Whole brood. There's a whole brood here. Um, Portlings. Portlings. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the tor when they, when you come in, they are going, Mom, 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 Mom. Someone's here. You're gonna buy things. Are you gonna buy things, lady? Very possibly. I'm thinking about buying a couple things if if you got them in stock. Yeah, we do. Oh, you guys look really busy. Like you're always doing stuff around here. 
Yeah, we are. Yeah. Uh, and a, uh, a woman comes out looking a little harried. It's yes, 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 yes. Go, go, go. I'll, I have it. I've got this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Well, don't you look run off your feet. I'll be quick. So you can get on with your day. I was just wondering if you had any um, potions of healing in stock and what you might be charging for those. Oh, uh, yes, yes. I have um, a couple of potions of healing. I've got a, also a potion of greater healing. Oh, um, yeah. You know, for the usual prices, of course, of course. Uh, which I could look up for a second. Yeah. I could never remember these off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, but we can kind of just skip the actual numbers now because yeah. Viani doesn't have enough money on her. But yeah, she would basically be an, asking for an estimate of how much it would be to clear them out, um, and then she'll take that information back to the troop. Uh, well, and... I have uh, two of the potions of healing. Um, I have one potion of greater healing. If you don't mind spending a little more time, I can make more. It's just, you know, it takes a while. Oh, of course, of um, course. I have uh, an elixir of health. Oh, and all kinds of things. Anything that you can want. Uh, oh, well, it seems I need to get... um person who uh, holds the big purse strings over here. Uh, how late are you open? Oh, you can just come in any time, really. Oh, wonderful. The kids, wonderful. they get to bed and uh, honestly, uh, if I get any sleep at all on the day or night, I'm thankful for it. But uh, thanks. Yes, anytime. All right. Yeah, well, we'll be back before we leave. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And yeah, she'll take that information back to the troop for a collective decision. It's Zill. Yes. What would you do? <laughs> and Serafina, because she's going to follow you. <laughs> <laughs> do I know? Because I heard something about a magic shop earlier. I don't know. Out of character, I do at least. Um. Even if you didn't, uh, you know, enough people were talking about it that if you were sort of paying attention, you would have heard it. I'm going to go find a magic shop. So that is over here. Again, you are there with a woman and seven little tortlings. And she says, ah, oh, hello, hello. What can I do for you? You have potions, but do you have something else? Oh, we have many uh, somethings else. Um, got some scrolls, um, uh, robes, uh, cloaks, wands. You, yeah. Tell me what you're looking for. Well, what kind of wands? Not wands. What kind of um, scrolls were you talking about? Well, let's see. Um, and she goes there and she says, what level, um, if you don't mind my asking, are we talking about here that you would feel comfortable with? Uh, second. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I got um, a couple of those. I've got, um, uh, I've got an arcane lock. Uh, flaming Sphere, and let me see, let me see, she's looking through. Oh, I also have Invisibility. How much are you asking for that? I believe those are 200 gold pieces. Let me look it up. It would be the usual. I don't have my DMG in front of me, unfortunately. Yeah. So, consumables are Normally half the price of yeah the um, no, half it's, price. It's more than half price if I remember correctly. Uh, that's usually what I've been going with, at least what I've been able to look see. But yeah, it's going to depend on how if they're common or uncommon. Uh, right. 
right. Big wedding. For each level of the spell. All right. So, yeah, um, second level would be anywhere, uh, would be, and you would know this because you would buy this sort of thing. Um, you could get one for 100 gold. You could get one for 500 gold. Anywhere in that range. Um, so she's offered you 200. You could do that. Do with that as you will. She had a invisibility of flaming sphere and an arcane lock. Yes. Uh, if I was a wizard, that flaming sphere would be useful. But I'm not. All right. Yeah. Did you have any? Let's see. Robes. You said you had robes. Um, I, I have a robe of useful items. Um, let me see. What else do I have? Uh, oh, I, I have a cloak of the manta ray in back. How much for that? Uh, well, that's uncommon, and I think that's. 500. Thanks. Understood. Well, thank you for your patronage. I will have to, I will have to go. And I'll see if we can come with some funds back to you for this cloak. Uh, lovely, lovely. I can't wait. Thank you. And she's like, as she's doing this, she's gathering up her children who are running around and going, I can show you the cloak. I can show you the cloak. It's it's over here. It's over here. And she's like, Shh, stop it. Just look at her. <laughs> you know, you've not dealt with many drow up here, have you? <laughs> she gives you a look and says, uh, don't worry, sir. If um, anybody who comes to this little neck of the woods with anything but the purest of intentions, which of course would be your intentions, would get all kinds of trouble. I'm sure. And I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. I think Elvin, you're the one. I got to go two things. Hopefully I can do them both. But the first one, uh, studded leather armor for me, please. So wherever I can go to a leather shop and buy some, I realized that I guess we're going to go fight jackals now. So okay. probably shouldn't just be wearing clothes. Maybe. All right. So over here, you are uh, brought to a an entire just like mini plaza full of kenkus Ooh. and these kenkus while calling at you caw, 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 you know are showing you all kinds of different um yeah, if you mention leather they're gonna just everything that's leather is being showed you know including of course studded leather armor do they have something in red That'd be fashionable. Punked out on me. I can't hear you. Oh, do they have anything in red? They look and they're like, red, 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 red. Uh, roll me a d4. I've got a two. They look around. Blue? Blue? Yeah, They show enough. you blue. Close enough. <laughs> I'll buy. All right. I'll buy me one of those. Okay. Um, and then how much is that? I'll, I'll get it out of the PHP unless you want to charge me more. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, they look at you and they will try to get ask for 10 gold more than it's worth. Hmm. That would be 55. I'll haggle mm. with them a little bit. Put on my I... charm, do a... Uh, I'll do um, I'll do a little uh, 
coin trick with the with the gold pieces where I make them where I make it go from like from fifty five down to forty five gold pieces in my hand. Be like, what do you think? And just keep switching between between forty five and fifty five. Um, roll performance. Yeah. <laughs> Sixteen. They look and say, and they start to make uh, sounds of coins, 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 coins. You know, like um, mm-hmm. I can't make a coin sound. You know, just like coins clink, dropping, clink. Clink, 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 clink. They're just like wanting the coin. Want All the right. coin. I'll give them the 45 then. <laughs> they take the 45. All right. They give you the blue. Done. And they're clicking away. They're very happy. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take it. Good. Um, and if there's still time before I get um, found by Ringleader and Marble, uh, I'm also looking for a bookshop and anything on uh, hearing voices. Flash mind reading. Okay. There is a bookshop. Hang on. If I'm close enough, enough, I would probably like talk to you through our spies, uh, spies murmur that we have. What's the distance on that? It's a mile. Yeah, then you're close enough. <laughs> mm-hmm. So while he's looking at books, hold on. All right. Oh, what? I'm sorry. We gotta go find some missing kids. Have you looked all over the city? There's plenty of them. <sighs> no, they're being. You are in somewhere. fact right now in a in an Aracocra Roadrunner Aracocra family, the Craig family. Uh, they're making even less sense to you than the Kenku did. Um, with six hatchlings, they're all sort of chirping and cooing around you. But they're able to show you, you know, they have books, they have ink, they have paper. You see that uh, Cedric has been just up to his elbows and enjoy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. There's more. Ch- there are more children in this city. And so, well, how like, about you ask them about the missing children? That seems intrusive. Um... <laughs> when have you not been intrusive? That's a, a, a like. Um... Ask. Fine, but let me find my books first, and then I'll ask. Okay, and then get your ass over here. Where is over here? DM, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> Where's me and the ringlinger? Uh, last I knew, you were in here, up there, in sort of the northern air. And yeah, no, he's sort of southern. To get them. How about we made it the big obelisk in the middle? Can't miss it. That is true. It's like no one can miss your ego. Uh, yeah, well, you know, they should make a statue to it too, but Ugh. we haven't quite gotten there yet. Okay, hurry up, ask, get your books, and get over to the Obelix. All right, all right. Ringleader. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to try to, I don't know, three books that I can. I'm not going to ask for too many details on uh, mind reading stuff. All right, so uh, roll intelligence. Oh, I got a six. No, a five. A five. I'm stupid. You don't find really anything on mind reading, and it's it's not helped by the fact that you know when you ask, you get coos and chirps and whistles at you. Like that doesn't really tell you what you wish it would. Um, Okay. you know. That's fine. Um, uh, fine. Um, I heard that you guys, so entirely, I'm sorry for the intrusion in your private lives, but I heard that there are kids mis- missing. As soon as they say that, you say that, they're running around. I don't think any of I, yours. Um, no one shut the door <laughs> open. Counting. So the, the next thing you know, they're sh- shooing you out of the door and closing and locking it behind, making sure all of their children are together. How'd that go? You're not here. <laughs> all right. Uh, so talk fine. To back, back to the... You do not talk to you. In she doesn't know what's happened. I'm going to save it. Gonna save I can it. still ask. You can still ask. I'm going to ignore you. 
Uh, okay. Well, I guess walking back to the obelisk. Okay. Maybe with Cedric in tow? I don't know if he got kicked out, too. Oh, he would have, yeah. He and He's kind of like, sir, I think you could have been a little more delicate. Uh. Oh, probably. I shouldn't have asked in the first place, but Marvel was like, ask about the children. Also, Marvel has found out something about missing children, and it wants us oh, to Oh, that sounds up. terrible. Terrible indeed. They have so many of them here. Why? But yes, we will go, um, we will go find, like, why? I just, I'm, I don't oh, get why. As you're making way to the obelisk, Marvel will be doing, tenetically, her best impression of the ringleader in your head. What is the best expression of the ringleader in my head? Elden, mm-hmm. get to the obelisk. It's really important. We need to go find some kids. <laughs> why? Why? Do, why are you making the making the ring need a, into a valley girl? <laughs> <It's> a <mess>. <laughs> That's <laughs> the best impression Marvel can muster. I, 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 I hereby give up my position as ringleader. Pastor is now my character. Can now have my character. I would like it if I can now re-roll something. <laughs> Oh my god, characters. it's like Elden. <laughs> Elden. <laughs> right, well, you can roll a performance. Okay. <laughs> oh. Damn. You, Ooh. like, you're that like, I, oh, did, how did you manage to give the, 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 <laughs> the thing? I thought you had to attune, and now I'm hearing the... Uh, the ringleader? I can't even tell the difference at all. Yeah, we'll be there, boss. Just... <laughs> Come on, Cedric. We gotta make it to the obelisk. Marvel's gonna be so giddy that she was just called boss. <laughs> okay, so you all make it to... Well, you four make it to the obelisk. And let's see. Folks. Um, the next time I... Well, I went to the Oasis thing. Mm-hmm. Um, the next time I see Viana, I'm assuming she comes back um, after she goes get it, to get the po- uh, talk about the Pokemons. Mm-hmm. I'll mention the mention that there's the locksmith and also the magic store. I don't notice she's gone there already. Yep. Um, and you know, I mean, you can probably see the other people. Running around. Oh, I'll sit down by the obelisk and wait. I don't have anything I need. All right. So you're there as a bunch of other of your friends cluster around. Mm-hmm. Um, Biani, I'm assuming you would see. Yeah, I'd be wandering back to the same point after done doing the same magic shop that Zill visited. Yeah, so I'd see Wolks there. Man, let's see, that leaves really just Temerity and Zill. Um, but if you guys are looking around, I'm sure you would see um, a bunch of your friends have all sat down by the obelisk. Friends. Yes, hello, greetings. Body men. I see we've all done the 30 minute tour of this entire location. Now we have to go look for missing children. What? What missing kids? There's kids missing. Also, don't talk to anyone about it. They're very sensitive about the topic in this area. What happened? Who would have guessed that they were really sensitive about this topic in the you area? You didn't believe me. <laughs> children huh. are missing. That's children are missing. I got kicked out of a shop because I asked. <laughs> I know. I know what we can do to build some trust to get some more information if you, if everyone is serious about this rumor and following up on the kids. I think we should just put on a little performance. They probably don't get a lot of entertainment out here, and it might build up some goodwill and trust with the residents. A little performance. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I think that's a fantastic idea. Uh, up till now, you know, Ringleader has been in, in their persona form. She's kind of sitting there staring off into nothing. And then immediately when you just mention performance, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, I can do that. <laughs> That's the thing I can do. All 
right. Um, I guess uh, who, is anyone playing music? Uh, I can, I think I might have some instruments. Maybe not. Mm, yeah, I've got a loot. We have a whole. We have a whole like cart train full of people, don't we? Well, we don't have enough for the tents for everybody, but just a little no. sort of street performance. I oh, thought. Oh, okay. Well, Marble's sure. gonna make her leotard shift from her usual fire outfit to a more like crimson galaxy kind of design her leotard mm. can do that okay yes Diani will start playing the lute in order to kind of get attention and attract attention i love how we're just not practicing very... this is good this is gonna, this is gonna go well <laughs> yes it will this... just do some magic tricks She'll start like you know like yeah calling out come and see the wonderful show, um something that rhymes with um song, <laughs> savage. <laughs> it's it's as good as a mirage. I have to work on my bars, but it's all right. It's medieval. Um, Marble's gonna do some cartwheels. Maybe walk on her hands. All right. Well, why don't you, you guys will be at the both... comedy garage? Garage. All right. Uh, why don't you, the two of you, roll a performance? Oof. Thank all right. Um, all in your face. Yeah, she's. A, you're a little bit sliding around on all this sand, but you know you're you're doing the best you can. And um, Viani, though Viani's, you know, she's projecting. She's got natural showmanship. And you some people around. start to come out. You see some tabaxi. You see a turtle. You actually see a yuan ti just sort of poking her head out. Mm. All right, it's working. Um, Does she look like so. It. What I yuan would tea, suggest actually, and blue and hair girl here somewhere <laughs> is if you guys are going to do this like performance thing. You know, it's 7.30. Let's take our 20 minutes. It's a yeah, good time. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Come yeah. um, back so in. Be a model drink. So, How yeah, long? 30, 20 minutes from now? All right, yeah. That's uh, the, what we've been doing, I think. Yep. All right. See you back in a bit. All right, everyone. Have a good time. And we're back. So, yeah. Uh, take it away, DM, I guess. Yeah, before we left... Um, Biani and Marble had started off on their plan of uh, bringing out the townsfolk with a little circus magic. And uh, Marble had a bit of a slow start, but Biani is uh, playing her lute. Does anybody else want to join in? Just a few people have started, you know, showing a little interest. I'm going to drum up some interest by um, using the horn that I have proficiency in um, to um, both toot and use as a kind of like mega megaphone to kind of like shout and talk about like, oh, come see the greatest show on earth and other some such things, you know, that kind of stuff. All right. Um, roll performance. This is gonna go so wrong, guys. I'm fucked. Oh, only one way to find out. <clears throat> what are you what? complaining about? You have a plus seven. <laughs> no, I'm so fucked, in it. <laughs> <laughs> I if you're so probably much the most unimpressible people in the world. I can play pan flute. <laughs> um, yeah. So more I people can play start my to pan come flute. up. All right, go for Marcia, it. I spoke up. Play your That's pan fine. flute. I'm I'm a play a tune. There we go. <laughs> Doodly do. All right, performance. Boom. Uh -huh. oh, oh, I'm so good at the flute. Soon as that flute comes out, man, people are coming out. You're seeing a whole bunch of uh, tabaxi now are coming out, dancing around. 
they're having fun. Um, even the Yuan Ti, who was previously just sort of looking out her door, going, mm, is now sort of coming out and curious. Um, the the, the Aarakocras are sort of, they're coming out in like neat little rows. They're very quick and they kind of flutter a little bit and dash around in a circle and the kids are doing well. The turtle family comes out. Before you know it, this, this whole group is sort of surrounding you and clapping along. So what, how, now that Marble has gotten everybody out into the yard, what are you guys going to do about it? I guess get Wish and I will... <laughs> no. Bad Zell. Um, <laughs> I guess Wish and I are going to go out and do a little little magic show while... Nope. Everyone's playing instruments. Zell, All right. what, do you, what, what, what do you got for me to help me out here? Predict the future, Zell. No. Predict it. <sighs> I'm going to stand near so everyone sees that I'm here and not stealing children. <laughs> I'm going to dance That's, around Zill a very good while call. I'm playing no. my pan flute. I'm just right. going to dance around him. And then I'm going to dance around Eldon. Yep. <laughs> just gonna, to be annoying. I'm going to have uh, Zill hold... I'm going to get him to participate by having him hold a, a card. Hold a card. There. Don't show it to anybody. Just hold it. That's all you got to do. There you go. Good job. Um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna go go over to to some random. There we go. Uh, there we go. Um, I'm gonna go to the random audience and be like, all right, you know, pick a card, any card, do all your your shenanigans. Pick a card, and then um, I give the deck to. I'll give the deck to. Uh, Walks who's also not doing anything yet. So Walks, hold hold on to the deck, will you? Okay. So, there you go. Good job. Good job, everybody. <laughs> um, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look look at the deck of cards and just, like, pull out the card. Just, like, slowly pull it out and then throw it over to, to uh, Zill's hand. And then, like, just mimicking that. Zill, show us your card. It's a hooker. Turn around. Show it so, to the audience. Uh, I'm going to subtle cast. Minor image, but I'm going to change the number on the card. <laughs> so flip it around to the wrong number. <laughs> All right. Marvel's going to tell the best. She's going to hold back her laughter while she's playing. This is, oh. this is how, this, this is, nice this is how true party dynamics work out. <laughs> Elton, roll a performance with disadvantage. <laughs> oh, good. That was a 16 plus something. I didn't do too bad there. 20. People take it as this is a joke, right? They're like, ah, it's funny. <laughs> They're just enjoying it, <laughs> thinking it's a great time. <laughs> Serafina. Actually, do I have her name right? I should remember everybody's name. Sapira, I knew I did that wrong, uh, can no longer hold herself back. She's out just like swallowing fire and wah, out it goes in her red bikini, just, just having the best time. Uh, let's see. I'll go and I'll put down the cards and I'll go and I will like pick her up so she can do all her fire stuff above my head. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so she can roll with advantage, I would say. Oh, she doesn't Ooh, need it. Damn. It is, putting on a show. You are putting on a show. <laughs> she is up. Point. She's on one, uh, one foot like a cheerleader. Just like and then she jumps up and does a flip and flips right back and you catch her of course because you're waltz you bring her down and everybody's people are thunderously applauding now so you guys have definitely put on quite the show some people come over and they're offering you some money little coins shiny metal discs oh, shiny um... metal discs <laughs> yep no, I feel kind of weird about taking their money. They look pretty broke. 
No, mom, don't mind me then. And <laughs> still just grabs a handful and pocks it. They're it not open. broke. Okay, okay. They have the, they might have their problems, but these these are um, trades people of very high quality. They okay. have a lot of magic items in their magic item shop. Yeah, that is true. They're, they're this is well actually, uh, you know, Taji didn't take you here for nothing. This is the best place to buy stuff in the, all of oh. the desert. Worth, our guide is worth his money. Um, yes. Sam. So does anyone want to ask them about, um, tell them that we solve problems as well as entertain? I'm going to interject that kind of thing. Um, yeah, basically, I'm going to say that, like, um, in addition to, um, in addition to, uh, uh, de, uh, <clears throat> uh, le, sel, le Cirque du Sang Sauvage is uh, many uh, capacities. We also, um, yeah, we also like uh, solve also problems. Dangerous. Yeah, we also no. I don't think adventures is like the right word for it. I think solve problems is a good way of describing it. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you roll uh, persuasion with advantage? Mm -hmm. This didn't work well last time. Let's see if it. Happens. I know. Well, sixteen. 16. Um. You know, after a while, as people are going around, you see Dion and Zomera uh, talking to each other. And then they're talking to some other people. And after a little bit, um, they, are, they talk to some of the tabaxi. And the tabaxi go over to Marble. And they're like... Hey, 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 I'm from the Softwind Sands clan. Oh, I gotta remember what my clan is. It would be in the sky or something. The sky clan, maybe? Maybe the sky clan. I know that I know that our performance group is called the Soaring Cats, but I don't know what our clan is called. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna. I'm Marble from the Sky Clan. Yeah. Uh, I'm Needle, and uh, this is my friend True, and this is my friend Book. Hello, Needle True Book. I am, of course, Marble, and this is my circus family. Nice. They're uh, really cool. Thank you. Uh, so, a couple things. If you guys want to come over and get high later. Definitely. I know a guy. Oh. Who wants to. Definitely. Nice. About this. And, um, like, I guess, I, I know that, uh, you know, the, the lions. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the leonins. <laughs> They were talking I'm, I'm gonna to you. Punch Eldon in the shoulder, just punch him <laughs> with the kids. You know, um, here's the thing: like, it isn't so much our kids. That's why we're here, right? Because you no, know, we all are like, you know, those those fucking Ravnikins. Yeah. There's there's like these weirdos. Called Simic Combine. Uh huh? And uh, they want to, they're real interested in anybody who's from a race that isn't common on Ravnica, apparently. Hmm. Like, so they're all trying to buy off people, especially young people. Mm. And so. Uh, a lot of us that are kind of in the more unusual category categories, right? You know, because yeah. we're, we're cool. We're the best. We're, we're the yeah, most we awesome. Are. That's like, I understand why people would want to buy 
us, but we don't want to be bossed. We're so feline. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so <We're> perfect. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, yeah, basically, uh, we kind of band together and we're like, because if anybody wants to come and fuck with us, you know, you've seen you've seen those fucking lion people, right? They're fucking they will knock you fucking flat in a second. Yeah, they're huge. they're badass. They're enormous. And, and the turtles, they look like they can't do nothing. But they're tough, man. They're a lot tougher, and those those uh, air, those bird fuckers. Yeah, fast, real fast. So fast. Right. So we're not like as long as we're all together, we figure nobody can fuck with us. Out. Yeah. So that's what we were talking about. We were like, you know, I mean, there's. That. Like, if you really like to do weird shit and go weird places and do stuff, like, there's places around here we could tell you about, but, um, like, we wouldn't let nobody take our kids. All our kids are here. Okay. That was just a blown out of we'll, portion yeah. rumor. Well, no, I mean, it's a real bad thing, you know, because some people got take, taken. Okay. Don't shut don't like obviously you are a plain jane human shut your mouth the cats are talking (laughs) um yeah (laughs) (laughs) that hair flip Um, (laughs) you're so funny eldon is definitely there doing this shit R and D. The next words out of your mouth must be yes and ma'am. <laughs> I would say Elton is there. I would say Wolks would have been paying attention to this conversation. I don't know who else wants to say that they were like paying yeah, attention. Okay, so there are kids missing. Yeah, just not our kids, man. Because we took we took steps. Yeah, but that's how cat- we that's know how cats are. Yeah. Cats are missing. Not cats. Kids. kids. The cats aren't missing. Who are, whose kids are missing? Are you who's, asking them? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm asking you, but yes. Yes. Whose kids are missing? Uh, you guys can roll persuasion. I would be like, put my hat and give you some guidance. You're doing. You were helping, so yeah, you're helping. I can still so can you? I mean, it I, so I, got I actually. Whoa, 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 wait! I can give guidance. I have a twenty-three instead. with his assistance. Okay, in that case, ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Ain't no Ignore problem me. at all. The cats. They look at each other. There's a there's a pronounced you know grooming. Walking in a circle, acting like they don't care, acting like they're not going to tell you. And then eventually they come over and they sort of rub up against you. And then she's they're like, the same. She's going to respond. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> this is tail so fucking witch. horny. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is cats. This is We're cats. not horny. This is cat. This is cats. <laughs> this is how cats are. Just right, normal, I'm everyday, so Why do you think the musical behavior was the way it was? It, cats. Because they the were... cats are. That musical was... Uh, let's not talk about that. That's just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was an abomination onto the universe. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> A very strong But <laughs> They're like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they will, they're going to tell you a couple things. So they kind of say, well, you know, we heard that the lizard folk king was taking his, taking his kids, giving kids away. And he was doing it for power. And that's why he's so powerful now. He's the strongest lizard folk ever. Marvel. What tribe? At walks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what do you got to say for yourself? You know yourself? of any lizard folk that's stealing kids? 
No. Oh, uh, all... is, this a, is this another jackal incident? What tribe? They're all the same tribe now, man, because the king is so mighty, he's got them all under one. So technically, your tribe doesn't doesn't exist anymore. Well, what's your tribe? I don't even, I, that's something I, I should have come up with a name. <laughs> we're the same I boat. Yeah, okay. uh, I'm just looking okay, at my sky. <laughs> I'll, I'll say my name. I'll I'll message you what what I'll come up with a name. For now, I've I've set the name of my tribe. Okay. They look at each other and they're like. That's the tribe, man. That's the one. It's now the biggest tribe ever. He's got all the lizard folk. Well, I don't even know what you're doing here. You should be over there kicking his, kissing his big ass too, right? <laughs> That's what they're all doing. Why would I kiss his butt? Because that's lizard what folk. everybody's doing. <laughs> oh, All the lizard folks are following that guy. Because he's the biggest, fattest lizard folk in the <laughs> world. And they know if they don't, he's going to take their kids and give them away, too. Nobody can prove it, though. But ask yourself this. How do you get to be three times the size of any other lizard folk ever? Hmm. Well, I, folks, his it looks height like we have to go. Three times. Yeah, he got hot. Well, I don't know. I don't do math, but he's way bigger. He's way bigger than any of the other lizard folks. He grew, man, because he gave away all the kids. They say he even gave away his own daughter. Hmm. I want to punch him in the face. That does sound like a good idea. Hell yeah, Wilkes. Right, Eldon? Well, I wouldn't do it because he's like the biggest and the strongest and he'll kill you and all his I'm warriors will kill you. And, you know, well, well that makes still you the best, try. but even still. I still want to punch him. Uh, people around roll insight. Rolling insight. Mm -hmm. Twenty. Three. Okay. Uh, the rest of you are all caught up in this uh, story, but Marble immediately you can tell from Wolks that he is taking a very personal interest in this story. Hmm. We should definitely go check it out. Well, it's, it's way south from here. They're down, you know, by the Devil's Cradle. Yeah, hmm. that's usually where, where they would be at the this time of year. They're down at the Devil's Cradle. I'll snatch yes. some cradles. Hmm. Suspicious. Oh, and you know what else? What else? And she's gonna like loop her tail. Cats can't keep secrets, by the way. <laughs> we love gossiping. We love gossiping. <laughs> They're like too much, just, too much catnip here. Just imagine <laughs> what Marble's family's traveling troop is like. Nothing but cats. All related. Well, we do hear that they took some cats, by the way. <gasps> How dare they? We need to go. Well, this is, you know, it's a long trip to make it to the Simic Combine. I don't even know where the fuck that shit is. It's somewhere in Lozola now. But uh, sometimes these assholes, they got, like, uh, Experiments that go wrong, and they just drop them off here in the desert, hoping they die. But a lot mm. of times, they don't die. Experiments. Okay. Oh, good lord. Yeah, I see. Science. 
trying well, to science on you. What science? We already discovered that like 200 years ago. It's called physics. I know you didn't go to school. It's fine. <sighs> My family taught me fine. Yeah, I mean, though. I don't. <laughs> what? What? No, I don't know. What? No, no, no. Ah, fuck. Mager, you dropped out of school. Who's Maker? You. You. No, that's not my name. Elden, you dropped um, out of school. Yeah. So you can't judge. Yes, I can. I could. So did you want to come school. over our ho- our place, man? We get we got some of the bone dust. <clears throat> Catnip. <laughs> we can share. Yeah, go for it. You, you, you do. They're you. asking you. They're asking me. Why me? Yeah, I do. I no, do. We ain't really asking you. Part. He looks like a cop. Yeah, no, one hundred percent a cop. You're not a cop. <laughs> Trust me, he's not a cop. I even got, I even got a, my my sidearm. You're not a cop. He's a he's a college dropout. He's not a well, cop. We're over here. So, if you want to come by later, you know where we are. Okie doke. Yay. And there's a lot of crown and yes, rubbing. Lots of, yeah, lots of meowing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and after a bit, they kind of wander off. We have to go get those kids. Probably. What do you mean, probably? I thought you were going to go get high first on catnip. Well, I gotta tell everybody first, and yep. then I will go get hot. They're right there. She's gonna skip over to the ringleader and let them know everything she was just told by the other cats. Yeah. Fiani, too, would be like, you know, working the crowd, but as it calmed down, she would also head over to the ringleader, so she would see Marble as she walked over. What do you think, boss? Um, the ringleader will be like, Oh, that is fantastic news. I was so worried for them. Maybe they would be able to have some tea or some other, like, you know, platitude of some description. Um, be high later if you want to join. <laughs> hi, whatever is that? Oh, ringleader. <laughs> you can come find out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> literally have a bath lab in my car. <laughs> Shut up. You're going to you're going you, with. I, I, you, you're going to make a pile of semi sentient gelatinous of like mass. <laughs> smoke a doobie. Yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you fucking boss. Ed- you gotta come with. More his thing. You gotta come with Eldon. You know for science. I'm, I'm trying to see what I can make. Can't make drugs. I can make Vianney. drugs. I am proficient in all artisan's tools right now. Uh, uh, Vianney's going to pull out um, <laughs> her notes on the journal and say, "Wasn't that same syndicate mentioned in that journal we found?" Uh, she goes through it. The Simic Combine Guild. Hmm. The Simic Combine. Yes, because they have mentions of experimental subjects and financial obligation. This is probably the same place. So and they're stealing prob- kids. Well, maybe that's what the experimental kids. subjects refers to. Um, Fiani, roll insight. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm oh, sorry. I, I, I'm. I usually I should like have hit the thing when I, after I had the last do, but I wasn't there yet, so I completely oh. mistimed that. All right, ten. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you notice a little bit of a wiggle from um from the ringleader, but it doesn't like he wiggles. Whatever. Yeah, that's true. He does wiggle a lot. Especially on a windy day. Mm. Do not not wiggle. You ripple. I ripple. 
<laughs> That's just advanced wiggling. <laughs> it's just attacked. wiggling with style. Also, um, <laughs> ruffling is an actual term for something cell membranes can do. <laughs> All right, so he ruffled. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to be like, well, that's quite a thing. We should, we should go, we should go as soon as possible. Um, like, like, has it been shared that it's like Volks's guys, you know, like the June stalker tribe kind of thing, or is that still kind of not really discussed? Marble, would mm. you have mentioned that? She is not here. She says yes. Okay, uh, Marble would have mentioned that, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to look over to Volks and be like, um, why don't... Uh, no. So, lead the way. And I, and, I, and I look at you with a full expectation that you know exactly where they are. They're down south by the Devil's Cradle. They're not on the way. We... We have a we have a destination we're going to. They will come up. They will return back north, further north later in the year. I think. But how? With, with this restructuring, it. Who knows? Okay, so we but got these children. Out. I said we but these children. children are not with the tribe. They were taken from it. Uh, okay, so our only clue is the, is your old tribe. Um, and they might be able to tell us where the children are being, who they're giving the children to. Just do, I would presumably know what the leader of the tribe is called. Uh, yes, you would, actually. And he is called, I have it written down, uh, King Carva... Ah, oh, God. Give me two seconds to get the... to pull this up. Kargok. Chief Kargok. Uh, K-A-R... G-A-R-C-H. Yeah. It means battle. Hmm. If Kargok has, has grown three, three times the size and is apparently giving away, giving away hatchlings in the tribe, they, getting him to tell us where they've gone not going to be easy. He was never an easy Persons to work with to begin with. Mm, unfortunately, it's like the like the only clue we got. So, like that's it. Unless we don't have anything else going for us. Unless we can find where they went. Well, we know where they're likely gone. Like where the kids went. Yes. If they've been ta- if they were taken, can if you... they were given away. To go to the Simic Combine Guild, they will be at the Simic Combine Guild's one of their places. Okay. Do you know where would... that is or how to get there, Wilkes? No. Okay. I would assume I would assume they're in Ratnica, or possibly on the other side of the mountains. Hmm. So if they're Which on... is also where yeah. we're going. Yeah, I was about to say, if they're on the other side of the mountains and we're already headed that way, but then again, we don't know. Yeah, if we leave the desert, or if we leave this area without solving their issue, we're really just leaving them to be. I don't think it's what the ringleader wants. Right, boss? I want to find them. It's important that I find them. 
So heading all the way to Ravnica, which will take us what? Another month? Three weeks? They have to be close. Um, yeah, they can't be that, yeah. Um, it depends on how long ago yeah. it's been since the... Journal 6. Okay. The ju last journal entry was, was from six months ago. Well, we could find out here when the last kid was taken. Weed with cats? Weed with cats. They might be able to tell us when the last kid was taken. Um, cats can't keep a secret. Vianney, I, I hate to ask you this. Um, but how do you feel about dressing up like a kid and getting kidnapped? Uh, I've got this guy's self. Because then we can follow her. Give her, give the her, give her the here? earring. And then we can follow her. I can follow her. We can, I can, we can, we can follow her and catch, either catch them in the act and then we can ask or we can just follow. Are you sure they would even fall for that? Um, well, it, only one way to find yeah, out. Yeah, only one way to find out. Vianney's cool with it. Uh, we don't know if they're taking anyone. But she to... has message. Yes. So yes. keep that earpiece on your ear. Yeah. So, so we can you find. Don't get into um, let's. Uh, uh, I think that's a that's a marble job right there. Cats. Cats. Ask them. Uh, uh, try to come tell on, us. Elden. Uh, you have I'm to taking, come with. They invited you. Own, can I bring my own drugs? No. It's uh, rude. All right. And plus free drugs. My stuff's just better. Oh, what? I'm there. <laughs> you can help me drag him. Okay, come on. We're all going. Come on, Eldon. Let's go. Those are pretty much unilaterally. We have all decided, okay, let's go get fucked up while also <laughs> finding children. Yeah. Well, we, well, before, yeah, because we won't be able to do it during, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, meanwhile, I'm just sitting there going, I'm going to go find drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ringleader's gonna find out uh, what high my means. Yeah, Zil Temerity, what do you two want to do? Cool. Temerity. Temerity would be really good. To do. Yeah, yeah and you could um, fly above. You could kind of help keep um, an eye on things from a distance to let me know if anyone's creeping up on me. Later on, yeah. All right. So first things first, let's go get some catnip with some cats, I guess. Marvel. Safira is coming. She's like, woohoo! Ah. <laughs> Marvel's just already headed in that direction. All right. While dragging Elden. <laughs> so the whole group of you end up in this house, which is these tabaxi are carpenters and roofers so there's a lot of just stuff around like wood and nails and stuff like, and just random stuff like that you would expect to find in a carpentry shop but you notice as you're looking at it that maybe they haven't been all that busy lately and uh once you kind of are greeted by them and and you know hanging out with them you can find out pretty quickly that there's probably a reason. Um, they're soon joined by two other tabaxi, Trix and Little. Mm -hmm. And uh, before you know it, there's just a cat pile. And they say, this is the newest stuff. It's like... Uh, a rainbow in a pill. Marvel's take sink. She's taking it. Yeah. They're all taking it. She's, She's gonna taking hand, it. Hand it. She's gonna like poke Elden in the face with one. She'll be like, take it. I am gonna be sneaky and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna use my being a ma magician shit to palm it and pretend like I'm taking it. Alright, roll slight hand. Come on, slight hand. I don't even know what I'm doing. Ooh. Oh, sorry, I was on the wrong page as I was looking up items. Uh, sleight of hand. I got a 21. Yeah, I don't think anybody's... They're not looking that close at what the hell you do with it. They don't okay. care. So, um, Unless, Marble, if you want to... Uh, I'll try. Perceive. 
I will roll perception. Roll nope. 19. Nope. He sure took that. Took them drugs. <laughs> Did not just say no. <laughs> All right, and it goes around. Does everyone else take it? Uh, Wolf doesn't. Oh, Wolf oh, came? <laughs> yeah. He's gone with them, but he's just he's not taking He's just observing. Yes. Science. Science. Beyond is very aware of the custom He's of the hospitality. He's a designated guardian. Yeah. <laughs> He's a designated yeah. driver. Yes. Still takes it and then he holds it and then like eventually people just don't look at him and he just parks it. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll deception. I believe it's the same bonus either way. But I'll roll that. Um, Marvel probably sees you. I ain't saying this shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna expect him to give me some later. Uh, Temerity, what do you do? Hmm. Well, he's just gonna take it. He's. I'm not sure how it'll play out with the infernal constitution thing. Does it really count as a poison? Or is it just no. an intoxication? So, a poison and all this other stuff is that's when you don't willingly take it yourself. You know, you're not going to make a save for everything because then I'd be like, oh, I, I want to get drunk as a dwarf and you just keep making saves. Like, you just never get drunk as a dwarf. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, be, just, we, if you take it, you get her. Oh yeah. And then the yeah. ringleader. Uh, I just want to reiterate that uh, you know, I'm you know a reasonably middle aged woman at this moment in time, <laughs> and I'm just sitting there going, "Oh, what is this? What is happening? Oh, okay, what is this?" And I, I try to smoke this, but I haven't quite got the idea of like uh, breathing in and out properly done. So I just breathe in and then like pretty much it comes out of my skin which happens to be my suit um and it has uh, i mean i'm gonna say it has no effect on me because while it would be funnier if it did and then you get to have you know stoned ringleader but it, it, you know it, it's a fucking slime guys there's only so much i can do with this <laughs> yeah. get them high um so like it's like yeah, so it's kind of like, oh, wow, this is so nice. I like it so much. Clearly lying through teeth, mm. you know, like, and then passes it along and doesn't really give a shit. All right. Uh, I do want just a constitution check from everybody who took it. It's not a save because you took oh, yeah. it, like they say, but I want to know how you dealt with it. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I dealt with it. <laughs> In a way. Okay. Biani, it doesn't... Like, sometimes halflings just have weird constitution, you know? Yeah, these amateurs. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you notice everybody else kind of... But you're like, this is pleasantish. We're all like, woo! And Biani's like, yeah. <laughs> pile of cats just sleeping. Just on the pile floor. of cat. Mm. Um, the ring leader. <laughs> so many things to unpack, Elden. Not that you get high, but you do feel a bit loose, which is kind of like, and then you kind of are going like this. And it kind of just sort of spreads out a little bit. You kind of feel a little tingly. That's as much as you can ever expect to get high from, like, a pill. Mm -hmm. So I would say you you got your money's worth as best as you will ever get. Okay. Um, oh, not that you paid, but mm. had you paid any money? 
you would have gotten my resort. <laughs> uh, let's see. Marble. Hmm. Pile of cats. Wisdom say. <laughs> Pile of cats. <laughs> Wisdom. There you go. Cool. For just a moment, you feel almost like you were transported to another place. Hell yeah. But not hell yeah. It was bad. Oh. Yeah. Having a bad trip. Oh no. Oh no, you went to the bad place. Uh-huh. It was cold there. You see people taking blood from you. You see people taking bits of your fur. Hmm. Okay. And then you go, nope, nope, nope. No, nope, I'm good. And it's gone. <laughs> and then and then you see the rainbows, the happy bone dust rainbows. Yay. And you are, God. for the next eight hours, you are just looking at rainbows. Yay. Rainbows. <laughs> Not that other thing. <laughs> um, Merity. You can do a wisdom save with disadvantage. Okay. You are back. This is very first experience. And you, it's really the first time in so long that you've let yourself be open to any other experiences. You're very regimented. You do what you do. You're perfectionist. But all of a sudden, you're transported back. You see your old temple. You see your masters. And you see the worst moment of your life. Can you describe what that looks like? There's in the spiraling yard, and Temerity's arm is fully extended. Out in front of him, clenched in his fist is clenched. And on the ground in front of him is his best friend, with a broken nose that has gone right back through his skull. As you he's just there in shock. It feels like a thousand years and it feels like ten seconds. You never meant to do anything. You see people noticing the situation and and coming over you see them trying to address the situation but they can't there's nothing they can do in that moment your best friend's sister comes running at you she's pounding you with her fists, and you don't even you pay no attention. It's like they're not even connecting. Nothing is connecting. You see people pull her off you. You hear them say that it wasn't your fault, that it was an accident. Slowly, you are transported into a gray place. Place without color, without sound, without feeling. If anyone were to look at you now, they would 
just see you almost catatonic. And for a few hours, there's no feeling at all. Uh, does anyone else notice him just kind of staring off at a space? I'm saying you or Zill could do an insight check. Sixteen. Oh, or Biani too. Rainbows. There. Yep, I can do one too. Exactly. Because uh, she's looking around, watching everyone as this is all going on. So, yep, oh, Zill did better. Really, uh, Zill and Elden, you both notice him. It looks for just a second like he had like a seizure, and then he's just staring at nothing. And you can tell that something is wrong if you are unaware of what's going on. All right. Uh, uh, Viani, are you okay to stay? If you are. Zill, you you took drugs. Oh, uh, Zill. Um, I, no, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm the one that's not. I'm seeing rainbows. Yeah, I'm... I mean, She's I'm a little rainbow, buzzed, she tells me. Okay. I did see something else. Like, I'll, I'll do a I'll field test. Too many <laughs> got a lot of them packed. Yeah, I, okay. I can keep an eye on... What's well, up? no, somebody keep an eye on... On, huh. on Marble. I doubt I can okay. drag rainbows. her away. Um, <laughs> but we probably need to get uh, Temerity back to my cart, and we can maybe find some way to get him out of this sooner. I go okay. pick up Temerity. Ooh. I'll stay with Marvel. Yeah. Okay. You oh, I America. forgot you, Wolves. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I mean, Wolves, Wolves wouldn't be have been like that insightful into mm-hmm. these soft skins and their weird emotions, so makes sense. Zill. What? I need you to be 100% honest with me. Did you take the pill? Okay. Um, give it here. Uh, he I just want to come up with some like way to get him out of it. Perfect. Cool. Now I have two. <laughs> I'm not gonna take them. Rainbows. <laughs> All right, we're dragging. We're dragging Ow! Temerity back to my cart. All right. Um, it's easy enough to do, especially Rainbows. with Wolks. There's no problem. Ow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my fancy new uh, screwdriver to make some alchemy tools and um, mess with one of the pills that I got to try to find a way to neutralize it. Okay. Neutralize its effects the best that I can. So So you can roll a d20 and add your... um... Yep. I would say add your proficiency uh-huh. and add your intelligence. Okay, so plus five. We can do this plus five. Anything else? I am going to sit there and study beforehand to give myself guidance on this. Hmm. Oh, that's probably a good thing because I got a nine plus five. That's 14 and a four, 18. Okay. Uh, it takes a while, but you start to uh, figure out what the um, the relevant psychotropics are involved are, and from there you are able to deduce. You know, it, it won't be perfect, but you can put some herbs together that you know or have heard about. And um, you can give him a quick half uh, dose, like a half, um, what's the word? An antidote, a half antidote. It will bring him out. It will make him feel a little better. 
he's still going to be a little bit out of it. He's not going to be like, oh, hey, hi, I'm Temerity, I'm back. But mm-hmm. he'll be better. I like to cook. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Let's get that. We'll stab him with a syringe of it. Because I have lots of those. If Eldon's close enough. No, are you le- I left you behind. Oh, no. You forget. You have the earpiece. If yes. Eldon's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I want to telepathically say to him, there's so many fucking rainbows. <laughs> and then just various meowing noises. <laughs> you need to keep that earpiece. <laughs> and there's just look, like constantly like looking around, being confused. Eldon's like, just got this super annoying again, look on his like, face. Meowing and there's so rainbows. many rainbows. <laughs> Don't know why we gave it to you. I gave it to you. Yeah. All that's right. true. That is true. No. No, no, that's my fault. <laughs> Alright. You have to keep that earpiece. S- stabbing stabbing temerity with a needle. In the heart just for effects. Oh, of course, yeah. Christ. <laughs> it's a little rough. Okay, but he goes... Oh, I'm not going to make anybody roll because, you know... There we go. It, it's going to work. Uh, Temerity, you come out of this gray. And you come to surrounded by Elvin <laughs> and Zill and Wolks all kind of looking down at you. Very important. Fluff. Buddy. Marity. What? What's your favorite sandwich? Yeah. Just answer me that. What's your favorite sandwich? No? I have another one. I can stab you in the chest again and I just don't want to. Rainbows. Okay, well. He might, may or may not still be alive. Not sure. Half a moment, fix that enough. moment, Timothy just gets up and leaves the cavern. Where are you? Mm. You're welcome. Mm. Well, let's go get him. I go get him. <laughs> Why would you do him? Okay. Okay, well, he's going to go get him. You took go get him for a sec. No. Just get it, just tie him up. It'll be fine. Or something. Walt, I don't Walt know. Walt is already. Yeah, Walt is already getting him. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, we should probably we should probably get uh, Marble out of there, too. Why right. does anyone listen to me? I'm going to be fly away from Walt now. Rainbow. Seriously? Can you, do you have the coordination to fly? I'll so many rainbows. That's why I said drunkenly. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be a bird like a bird in the fall. <laughs> yeah, this is not the usual graceful flight that you are aware of from Temerity. This is kind of like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but he gets he does get up. It's amazing. Yeah, that's all you. I'm still in. I'm still in the cart because I'm being tormented by marble. Being tormented well, by marble, I, and I'm gonna work on another. I don't have really have a way of. <laughs> so many rainbows. I mean, I can days. try and run, run and try and jump and see if I can get get them before they fly away. All right, do an athletics. All right, uh, two acrobatics with disadvantage to Merity. Because you are having a little trouble here. You get him. Fourteen. <laughs> Folks, yeah. yeah. I uh, as he as he attempts to fly away, I don't. It's not like I'm jumping up and like slamming him into the ground. Like I'm getting him like, look, look, no, nope, you, nope, and then like putting them ba- him back on the ground. I think you should stay on the ground. You're not yourself right now.
I haven't been myself for a good many years. You're under the influence of, of whatever drug you took. Mega will help you. And I bring like I turn turn you around and like <laughs> like basically like gently starts push pushing you towards the um uh back to the car. At least go to mine. Hmm. Go to my cat. Okay. Mager, I called out to all of them. Um, now, now look out the door. <laughs> what? Meow, meow. I have him. He wants to go back to his own card. Fine, just don't let him go anywhere else. I take Temerity back to his own card, and then I sit outside of it. All right. God is... Ah. After a few moments, Tomati throws the needle out. I assume the needle has always been taken out of you. Oh yeah, no, no, I totally took that out of you. <laughs> like, it was not, just a stab like, and oh, out okay. kind of thing. Okay. It's, it's, a oh. it's a surgical that case, needle. Tomati just goes into his cart, finds some cushions and flops. Okay, that's fine. Uh... All right, Zill, we gotta go get. We gotta go drag the other two out now. So many rainbows. Oh. <laughs> that has to happen. So let's. I'll take Wish and Zill. How long did the first uh, antidote take me to make? It took a solid hour. Okay. Hey, Marble. Yes. How you feeling? DM, how am I feeling? feeling? My season You're feeling rainbows. wonderful. Now I... it's like cotton candy and puffy clouds. Okay. That's exactly what she says. All right. Is Viani still there with you? Yes, she is. Yes. Yeah, just watching for the cat flop from the sidelines. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Occasionally. Viani, say hi. Off. And then she's going to, like, put her, like, rub her <laughs> face on your face, Viani. <laughs> As if that would work. <laughs> but she's not saying it out loud. She's right. saying it in her head. So all of you see is just Marble all of a sudden just come up and purr against you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and cats. Rainbows, uh, Elden. Is there still a pile of cats there? You know, I saw a couple of, of nice looking cats. I want them to go meet. You haven't left, right? <laughs> no. Okay, Why would I perfect. leave? Perfect. These are my people. Absolutely perfect. Mm. I'll be right there. Fuck you. Rainbows. <laughs> Rainbows. <laughs> All right. I'm sure they'll be fine for another. Ah, eh, no, let's drag him here. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, let's fine. drag him. I don't want to stab him in the, in the middle Rainbows. of the party. All right, Wish, Zill, we're grabbing them. Her, I think Marble's the only one we got left to grab. Try what were we supposed to Don't forget Getting Sabira. Some information. Oh, fuck, Sabira. Okay. Uh, what about we got... Sabira? She also got high. Fuck. She got high. <laughs> Sucks. That does suck. Mm -hmm. Rainbows. Um, what do I have with me? I only have my gut no. Rainbows. Mm -mm -mm. If we stay an hour, I can make another one. Another antidote. Dash. For an hour? Yeah. I'll be fine for now. How many do we need? Can people just sleep it off? Yeah. That's true. The mm. only one who was really having a hard time was... Yeah. Okay, really, maybe we yeah. can just convince the other two to come along. <laughs> Okay, so let's go get the other two. We'll bring Wish along. Viani, in the hour that they were doing whatever they were doing, mm -hmm. um, were you doing anything? Yeah, trying to strike up some conversations, a bit more information about timetable for when the lizard kids might have gone missing. Um, like, was it in this camp or was it outside of the 
location, just sort of like be bits and pieces that we didn't get from them before. All right, they would so make. first roll persuasion. Okay. It's going to be pretty low because they are. <laughs> All right, how low can I go? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, uh, you'll find out anything you ask. So I'll let you. Rub what I'll say is uh, four questions. Ask four questions, you will get four answers. Okay, let's see. Um, were the kids taken from around here, or was it just known through information, like communications, rumors that they were taken? They've been being taken from everywhere, and not even just little kids, like bigger kids and grown-ups and tieflings and just everybody all over. They even went to Taluna. They went to where? Taluna, the place that Taluna. you just came from. Got it. Okay. So I, I heard Taluna and I was like, where? But I would just yep. misheard. Yep. Um, okay. Let's see what else. Um, I'm trying to think what else we wanted to know. We're being taken from everywhere. Oh, um, how long ago did you like? When did was this? Did it take place a long time ago? Did it take place this year? Did it take place last month? When did the? Do you hear the rumors of the lizard king? It's been, it's been going on for years, right? Oh like, wow, okay. Years, but it used to be. Like, not very many, but now it's, it's getting worse. Do you all know about the airship that was crashed not too by a day's walk from here? Where the Lamy is at? Yeah. Uh, what about it? Oh, it's just, um, well, airships like that, they just thinking that they might not kind of stand out. Like they had a Ravnican look to me. Maybe. We didn't go there, because, you know, Isophia went there. Okay, last question. Um... You did just get the name of the Lamia. Oh, sorry, did someone else get that? Note that down? I hope. Type. Isophia. Sophia, so not Sophia. Isophia. Isophia. Oh, not it's your... Sophia. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I, I saw it's Sophia, is what I heard, but no. Isophia. Got it. Good. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Has anyone ever returned? Come back? Um, when they disappear? Would they know that? Mm -hmm. They would. Yeah. Sometimes, but they have their memory go whoosh. Can't remember nothing. Hmm. Wow. You've been so much help. Thank you so much. You have a good You're time. Pretty. Uh -huh. You want me to scratch under your chin? Ah. Scratch, 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 scratch. <laughs> they like it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Yep what we know now. And yeah, Viani will, at an appropriate time, relate this to the full party. All right. Rainbow. Oh, Sil, are you trying to talk? Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's what happens uh, while y'all are doing the antidote. Um, All right, so you come in and you get um, everybody. 
when you see Safira, she is jumping around. She's jumping up and down on the bed. She's found a bed and she's like, I'm jumping up and down. 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 <laughs> Zell, that's, she's yours. No, she's not. Rainbows. <laughs> it's like at some point you call her your pet. I'm in the pile of I cats. I never did that. Uh, as soon as she sees you, Jill, Zill, she jumps on top of you and goes, "Ah, boss!" See? And She's jumps yours. on you. <laughs> Good job, Zell, getting her over here. Just walk her out. You're fine. Cats. Get off of me. <laughs> yeah. She kisses your forehead and says, "You're <laughs> not cute, but." <laughs> <laughs> that was but you're nice. tall for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what we do to halflings we capture in the Underdark, right? <laughs> Dirty things. <laughs> Dirty nasty Get things. off of me now. <laughs> <laughs> she 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 gets off, but she keeps trying to tickle you. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Piani, go help him, her, both of them. I don't know which one I'm most scared of at the moment. <laughs> I, I've, I've got rainbows over scared. here. What? You got rainbows? No. I'll, yeah, I've got, I'm rainbows. watching rainbows. I'll get rainbows. Watch... Okay, I'll go try to help with... Uh, In Elden's girls. head. He's gonna hear. Elden, rainbows! Yes. Oh my gosh! Hey. So many cats. Come on, rainbows. We're gonna go see more rainbows outside. I'm not rainbows. I'm marble. I didn't know this. Gosh, you do confuse me for your sex robot. Yeah, hey, we're sex robot. <laughs> go grab her. And she's saying none of this out loud. It's all in Elden's head. <laughs> and all you see is Wish come over and grab her and pick her up. Oh. And walk. Can I wiggle out of her you. arms? You can, yeah. Do a Pros contested gravel. gravel. Yeah. Strength? It's pretty strong. <laughs> it's, it's either your acrobatics or your athletics, not whichever Okay, higher. my yeah. acrobatics. It's just at, it's just athletics from um, Wish. Yeah. Just athletics and from I'm going to use acrobatics. Oh, good. She's got a plus two plus my proficiency bonus. She's got a plus four. Cool. And Roll. a plus six. She's got a plus six for Roll. her athletics. Oh, she got a four. She got a ten. I got a twenty. Damn. Damn. You are out. <sighs> no, that like she t- she gets fur. <laughs> I just you smack her with your tail on the way by. All right. I'll be oh, like, I meant to go on to this one. <laughs> nice try, Elden. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> you're, you're, we're... What are you gonna call me? Wish again? No. <laughs> I am going to. She's gonna do a twirl. How? 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 Do, okay. I'm gonna go. That seems bad. This seems bad, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna stab you with a needle. Um, and cast if you friends can get on. Me. If you can I'm get sure me. that I can. I don't. Need, I don't even need to get to it. Like <laughs> if you I think. Can get I me. think friends isn't even a like a. It's I'm a, casting it's, friends. It's a range just spell. Do this. Yeah, it's a friend. Yeah. It's a range spell. The stabbing is just. Flavor. It's just flavor to it. So yeah. So are you stabbing me or not? I'm stabbing you with a needle. You can just you can throw. Yeah. You just throw and they're, just they're all dart of friends on you, and I'm casting friends on you. Can I dodge it? No. A friend. No. It's up to no. Uh, but there's probably a save. Is there a save? Nope. If I re- if I remember right from um, Spencer Harrison, there isn't one. Now I I'm think. Gonna look it up. You could, you should only be able to add that kind of flavor <laughs> to certain kinds of things no. that aren't ranged. It, listen, all it does is silly. it gives him advantage it, on, on charisma Christmas. saves or the charisma. And, uh, yeah. yeah, and the um, a creature prone to violence might attack you. Another creature might seek retribution. Yeah, you're going to be pissed at me when it, when it wears out, but until it yeah. wears out, it's going to be a minute. Yeah, a literal minute. Yes. So. Yeah. No. So do I get a save? No. No. No, it's a, it's a, what does it but do? like, it's not an actual, like, com- he's not compelling you to do anything and you can't. You're just like, all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, he's such a good friend. Yeah. And so yeah, I'm going to spend my time. I'm going to start purring up against him. Yeah. 
And then I'm going <laughs> to convince you that it is time to go. All right, roll persuasion. It is time to get going. With we advantage. cannot stay here anymore. We have... I mean, like, Elton, yes, with advantage. Why? With advantage. And she's going to purr. Persuasion <laughs> with advantage. Okay, I got a plus four on those. And what do I roll? Nothing. Not, that. Well, not yet, at least. 17 plus four, 21. Uh, you can roll insight. Okay. Nat 20. Woo. 24 in total. So. And you rolled 24? I rolled 21. Mm. Oh. Oof. Sorry, bud. You were just, you I will let you die here. Really, really, really want to go and, and be his best friend. and But then a little something says in your mind, wait a second. He's kind of an asshole. I will let you die here. Do not think that I won't. No, you won't. She's gonna boop his nose. <laughs> I will let you. Should have brought another. Should have brought, brought walks. Should have brought a whole other dose of, <laughs> of stabbiness just for you. Oh, Zell. Messing with you is what? fun. Help. What do you need me to do? I don't know. Can't get her. Can't get her out of here. By the way, I've taken your assistant off by doing um, uh, half halfling drinking songs. Oh, she's off. She's gone. She's <laughs> not. Hey, she's like off with you. And then we drink another fight. And it's on the wall. Ninety nine. And it's on the wall. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Elden, why didn't you take one, you liar? <laughs> yeah, I got nothing else. <laughs> Just gonna That's keep it. That's purring. All I, got. I have nothing fully. Okay. Um, it's gonna be like Elden. There's we'll a pile see you in the of morning. cats. You have you have you have you have magic earring. I have tried. You have resisted. <laughs> I saved I saved one comrade today. That's good you, enough for me. You could just stay here. No. All right. Wait. We're There's leaving. There's a pile of cats. No, we're leaving. You can either follow me or you can't. Stay in the pile of cats. Maybe Viani can gonna walk. No, they're, we're definitely walking out. Okay, she's not listening to you oh, on fine. purpose. No, it's fine. Uh, walking out, and I'm going to tell Wish to hang out no at the door tried. for the night. And no one then... else has tried. Nope. Only you. You're going to die. <laughs> that's your, that's <laughs> your fault. Uh, about a minute later, you realize, hey, that son of a bitch cast a spell on me. Oh, yeah, I would definitely stab you with a syringe. Oh, yeah. And at that point, she's going to be so pissed. And in Eldon's head, she's going to hear, you motherfucker. And then she's going to bolt <laughs> right after him. Really? You're not going to sit there and die? Oh. Fuck you. That would have been hilarious. Oh, yeah. You're so funny. <laughs> um, Let's see. Ooh, roll survival with disadvantage. Me? Yeah. Mm. Wish will follow you, regardless. A twelve. All right. Uh, roll a d four. Okay. Oop. All right. So you leave here. Get yes. Out. Where? Um, you basically make it back to the here. That's as far as you get. Make it to the obelisk. Yes. Yep. Make it to the obelisk, and then you're like, oh, obelisk. And then you Obelisk. sit there. So nice. Eldon's gonna hear it in his head. This is a nice obelisk. And then Wish comes over and sits next, sits next to you. All of a sudden I can't speak. Sits next to you. Yeah, She's that's gonna Wish. be like, Wish, where's Eldon? <laughs> can't talk. <laughs> Take me to Elden so I can beat him up. Um, how smart How smart is Wish? She's smart how up smart to... is Wish? What's her intelligence? What is her intelligence? What is her intelligence? Because it's either that or she's just going to keep wandering I feel around. we had this conversation before. Know, it's like a six or something. Yeah, she's not that smart. 
Which, how smart are you? It's a minus three. Yeah, she's got, like... Yeah. She knows how to follow my commands, but nothing else, and I just told her to keep an eye on. She looks at you. Yeah. It's getting cold. It's it's a night. It's cold. Cool. <laughs> She's going to attempt to try to find the carts again. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Uh, roll <laughs> survival again with disadvantage. A seven. <laughs> roll a d4. Good <laughs> This is what you get for leaving me here. No, this is what you get for fighting me. Okay, way. if anyone... If anyone else All right. asked her to go, she would have. Sounds like a personal problem. All right. You mm. are headed up here. <laughs> this is an adventure, isn't it, Wish? Speaking you would wish. wish. Uh, you get up here. Yeah. Um, and you see the ruins right next to you. Oh my gosh, ruins. Gonna if Eldon's within range. She's gonna be like, Eldon, I found ruins. And me and Wish are gonna have a talk about how you confuse me for her all the time. I'm still gonna let you down. <laughs> right, so you and Wish wander into the ruins. Yes. I wander around. Until I decide to try to find the carts again. Um, if I get hmm. captured, I wouldn't be surprised. No. Roll a roll a d six. <laughs> Okay, so what you do with Wish mm -hmm. is you find yourself around here-ish, right? Yeah. There's a light inside. So you climb inside. Oh, yeah. Wish follows you. And that's the end. That's where we'll end for the night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. This, this is you died. I didn't oh, die. Ass. You died. Mobile My became you were, you, were, you were so stubborn that you died. Your last sight in the world. Yeah. But okay, but seriously, if anyone else had asked me As to this, go, no. I would have. But no, because no. it was you. That's fine. <laughs> I, you're the one who's dead, not me. I'm back in my car trying to figure out how to cure people. I'm not dead. Yet. The last yeah, thing did you that see you... her face? That is the your Eldon, dead face shut right up. there. Shut up. <laughs> Eldon, the last thing that you heard, though, was, uh, we're at the ruins, me and Wish, we're going to be talking in the ruins, we're over here, blah, 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 blah. And before going toward Bingles. the light, I would have I messaged him and, and said, there's a light, I'm going to go toward it. He's gotten off the seas. And then the next thing, and then you hear nothing else. Okay. Hey, look at me. I'm going towards the light. Hey, look at me. Hey. It's not that kind of light. <laughs> Don't go towards the lights, Carolyn. <laughs> well, over the lava yeah. rest that I'm sure we're getting, I'm making blue. Let me replace my robot. <sighs> Oh, we're just gonna go to bed and just leave her out all night. I, that's what I'm planning. I tried. <laughs> I tried if, real hard. If anyone else I'll had asked her, her, she would have gone. I tried real. Imagine I cast friends on her. I, I tried. But real because hard. it was you, that's not my fault. I don't know. She it seems like marbles you. might die out of spite. She might <laughs> die out of spite. Honestly, she was I'm being spiteful, <laughs> and this is it. So, I will say, you called out, she said, I'm by the obelisk. You ignored her. Oh, yeah. She yeah. said, I see the ruins. You, you could have told her. somebody where I was, <laughs> and you didn't. 
you I got a spite. <laughs> and you're letting me. Yeah. So you killed me. Let you die Who's spite? spite. <laughs> Who's being spiteful here? Tried so I just hard. wanted to stay. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, Seems on us, my side. <laughs> truly, some of us would have been like when Marble is like it starts to get night and she isn't back. Well, I'm sure some a lot of us happen at night. <laughs> All right, Walks. Um, why don't you, assuming you went out at some point, realizing, you know, you were, like, you're in between, like, doing all this stuff for all these soft skins, and you have a, a hook for a baby. Yeah, I'm, that I'm feeding periodically and yeah, making sure that I'm fucking baby. up the cup. Yeah, yeah. Of course. You're a beautiful little baby. You're a little baby. You're a little baby. We're going to get so much money off of selling this baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, you realize that Marvel never came back. So why don't you roll a survival to see if you can figure out? Or wh- what would you do? Let's put it that way. What would Wolks do to find her? I would probably ask, start out by asking the like others, the, like the people who were out and presume, like they went back. Um, so Elden, Sil, and... Uh, Beyond. Well, yeah, Elden and Sil. Where Bianni, so, I was there. Oh yeah, and Bianni too. Uh, I was so probably babysitting still, Marble. That's true. So probably Elden or Bianni, um, Elden or Bianni, ask them where, like, hey, where is where, where where's the cat? It's always me. Yeah, yeah. Bianni would tell her uh, that yeah she was fine when she was with me, and then uh, Elden wanted me to help Zill and. Haven't seen either of them since. Mago, where's the cat? Uh, I she decided to stay. I'm gonna go make blue so I can find her later. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be in a pile of cats in the morning. You just can I roll an, Can I roll an insight? <laughs> yeah, roll an insight. Nope, I can entirely <laughs> believe that he, she just stayed behind at the place. I mean, that's to be fair, I'm not lying about that. She did when I left. She stayed behind the place. Yeah, I'm but you also you. you're also lying by omission. <laughs> you were definitely lying by omission. <laughs> so at this point, you are killing me out of spite. Out of spite. Damn. I'm building blue. I'm trying to I help out. You. Oh, not for long, because apparently you're dying soon. So. Get a new roommate in about a week. <laughs> Tell my aunt. Dad, you're at the ruins. I'll get there. I gotta Tuesday. go make blue. You're gonna make something super cheesy. I gotta make blue. You're gonna eat the shits for like 24 hours. You gotta go make blue. Make something so cheesy. All right, so no, I guess no. I know how we yeah. left this then. Yeah. So. yeah. With nice. me. We'll come back next into time. We'll, we'll an, marvel an old building. Piece. With a light. <laughs> yeah. um, I am making blue for next next day and uh, probably getting some other spells ready. Chrissy, just message me if I do need to make a new character sheet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I do want to give the ringleader, like, I, I think he's been kind of ignored for a bit. Yeah, well, uh, what, 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 what am I doing? All right, so... Marvel's missing. Oh, um... um yeah, like have... you see people wander around. Okay. I'm going to go find Marble because I don't trust that she has the ability to survive on her own. How are you going to do that? <sighs> Here's me going through my fucking spell list again. Uh, oh. mm, let's have a look at this. Specific kind of concentration. The closest creature or plant of that kind within five miles. No, that doesn't count. Ah. Hmm. 
Where is it? Come on, is it shown? So, Skyright? Is it going to be Go Home Dorothy? Sorry. I mean... mm, Sorry, sorry. I I shall use... Yeah, Skyright. And it will be in big, multicolorous, fluorescent lighting that, you know... Cats like those, don't they? They like fluorescent lighting. And it'll be kind of like, like... Yeah, it'll be like... I don't think can do that. <laughs> well, it's a, it, it just says ten words in this cloud. part of the sky that you Made can see. Made of cloud. Made of cloud. Very bright clouds. Text. Have you ever seen Very cumulus clouds? Cumulus <laughs> <laughs> clouds. And the rain place. I mean, I could do that. Alternatively, I could do with the alternative, which is go wandering around and shouting Marble's name over and over again. One or the other. So what are your ten words going to be? (laughs) Um, Marble, I'm over here. Come find me. Um, Do I see it? Where the fuck are we? Where the fuck are you guys? Is this uh, part of the message, where the fuck are we, guys? Is the end of the message? No. Yeah. If I was gonna do that, if I was gonna do that, it would be it would be like where the fuck? Because right, I would go, so where the fuck are we? Where the fuck are we? Go you through. show where me are. where you think your uh, group was. Because the last I knew, you were some, you were like around here somewhere. Or yeah. Around here. I mean, I don't think there would be a reason to move the cards, would there? No. So you were somewhere around here. I was behind... at the obelisk, and you still didn't come get me or tell anyone. You're killing me out of spite. <laughs> so I will say, roll a perception really quick. Me? Okay. Uh, I that yeah, marble. Me? Okay. Yeah. There we go. It, yeah. Like you didn't know. You didn't look up. Did anyone notice me while I was at the obelisk? I mean, you kind of already wandered in, like, here. So, um... (laughs) All right, I could say, all right, like, anybody who thinks they would have been actively looking can roll perception with disadvantage. Okay. Got a 13. Got a 9. Uh, you were busy casting your spell. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, you were really trying. Um, you didn't, Fiona, you didn't see marble. But, like, a minute ago, it was like you saw Wish wandering around here. Okay, I'll go back to where I remember seeing Wish. I always count on Viani. I tried so hard. And, uh, the only thing you didn't I'll, try is hey, can some- I'll look for tracks. All right, roll survival. All right. Oof. Yeah, it wasn't hard anyway, but yeah. Um, you find the tracks. They lead through here. There's a light in there. Oh, the yeah, eye will follow. Until I see her, hopefully. Well. What do you see? Um, you kind of crawl in. And then there's a drop. And at the end of the drop, the light that you saw came from some sort of magical glyph. I don't hear marble or any movement. No, it is completely still. Okay. Well, she'll make her way back out and, like, I don't know, make a mental note of where this entrance is. But then, 
Um, is this where the tracks led? Yep. And Marble and Wish went in. But All then right. they're gone. I'm going to have to go get the ringleader. So um, maybe <laughs> that's where we're going to have to leave it. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, r and I'm sorry, say what? We're, we're at the end of the stream. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm sitting here arguing with Marvel about how she's going to die. <laughs> you killed so, me out of spite. I'm going to, I'm going to, you can, Christy, can you do the exit? Because you're way better at this shit than I am. <laughs> All right. Come back next week to find out if Marvel dies. <laughs> What's going to happen if she doesn't die? Until then, it's uh, goodbye from me and goodbye from the party. Say goodbye, party. Goodbye, goodbye party. 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 Hey, they did the bit in unison. Yeah, bit.